And then I need to get a nice exit out. I need to get a nice tweet. Tweet, tweet. That I can, uh, you know, tweet regularly. Mm. Yeah, I guess I should make an AJSA, I guess, tweeter X. (laughs) Whatever. So yeah, I have a handle. I do have a handle, but it's yeah. my personal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just change your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. I had one for a while. Yeah. Uh, and then I just changed. I might be following name. some uh, suspect oh, you some, content. Uh, thought bots. <laughs> yeah, thought bots. Some do thirst you, traps. Oh, we're live. Hey. Yeah. Do, we have, do we have a, a yeah, we picture of the bust? Uh, no. Jay, didn't you take one? No. Oh, did no? I took video. I took we one. took video. I took one, but it's. Uh, we took video of yeah. unboxing it. All right, let me get a a picture of it. Mine's just like a picture of the head and the body. It's not together. Angry Mexican, you were like third, bro. Yeah. A little late to the party, but that's okay. It's in our DNA. <laughs> What's up, Helly? Helly. Apache. Nice shroud. Take a picture of the box. All right. Oh, in fact, actually, why don't we test out chat? Let's go to intermission chat. Intermission. Uh, There you go. We can see them up on there. Yeah, oh, yeah, I might want to eventually make a, a one where you can see us both there, and like for uh, yeah, that's the. I don't know how a who box made right, that for me, but the other box that opposite corner that'd be cool. Yeah, but then you'd have to change the artwork. No, not really. Or just below it, like just have in the empty space where the chat is. No, because watch this. Watch what? what see I how watching? it fills up. Yeah. I was trying to talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Saying. So let's keep. Let's follow. So the person is the two. Well, good night. Thanks for stopping in there. Night show. Shroud. Testing. It's testing is working. Testies. Boop. Yep. Testies. 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 One, two, three. Hello, chat. Welcome. Welcome. Who's in chat today? What is up, guys? Brain Eclipse. Hello. Welcome. Brain. Gallant. G-Man, nice heaven. Gallant Tempest, what's up in the G-Man? Private Bayak. Star. Exclusion. Is that me? Nope, that's probably Doc. Oh, 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 (laughs) Doc. Andrew. What's going on, y'all? Y'all ready to play some 40K? He said he just bought the original Space Crusade and it's a total blast of nostalgic goodness. Yeah. Twas evil. I wouldn't mind trying the the original also. You like Dags? I like Dags. What's up, doctor? The doctor is in the house. Man, you guys are lucky. Y'all, we have a treat for y'all today. It's gonna be. We've had we've we've had this for a little while now. Mm-hmm. A couple of days. A couple of days now. <laughs> at least a few. <laughs> a couple at, days. at least two or three. Um, uh, yeah. From nineteen ninety is the game. Nineteen ninety. Nine zero. Yeah. 90. Yep. 34 years old today. Y'all picked a good day to join us. You love dragons, bro. You love, love playing at 20 frames per second? Uh. 10 frames per second? Did they patch it yet? Have they fixed Dragon's Dogma? It's okay, Pedro. Hey. Don't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fire Tower RV just wanted to tell you in your free time watch Corridor Crew new video. Oh. Uh, it, yeah, they're good. It's 
it good if you don't like green screen and that all say no spoilers. Yeah, those guys uh, make excellent content over Who? there. Corridor, you know, uh -huh. you know yeah. them? No. Oh, what, what are they about? They do like a lot of special effects and green screen stuff yeah. and uh, stuff like that and uh, video game I stuff. I will check them out. Some amazing stuff. Yeah, I'll well, add that to the, uh, my long list of YouTube. Yeah. Uh, GW. What's Games Workshop? Uh, oh, shit, what their X. Did they, sw they switched it. It's no longer Warcom. It's... Have you ever played Cyberpunk board game? Yes, we have. You yes. should join yes. us every Sunday. We have and it on on demand, probably. Yeah, we've done it before. And we will revisit Can the board game. Can you find out what yeah. it is? I think it's on VO. It should be on VOD on Twitch if you want to check that out. Boom, boom. We're going to play Cyberpunk. Check out our channel yeah. here. How about this? Here's how you got to promote this channel regularly because this oh, is what supports us. Angry Joe Show Live. Angry Joe Show Live on, on YouTube. YouTube. So YouTube.com slash, uh, is it forward slash or backslash? Whatever. Angry forward slash, slash, I think. Angry it is. Joe Live. And, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, Angry Joe Live. Yeah. And y'all will be able to kind of, are y'all, you will be able to see Shit. all of the uncut, right? It's yeah, all, uncut stuff. Yeah. Some, some of these uncut battle reports. So, Chad, one of you who have uh, the AJ Shield that supports us, can you please look, put a link? to angry joe show live the U the youtube channel it's at warhammer it's warhammer yeah okay got you warhammer there it is warhammer official got it i'm almost to my gold badge on uh twitch oh shit i'm close to i think that's my one year badge how do i buy that <laughs> You got to subscribe, man. Oh. <laughs> you got to be loyal. Subscribe, bitches. Yeah, move Oh, okay. Can I subscribe? I am tweeting right now. Good. Boom. Can I subscribe nice. with uh, Incognito? Yeah, see, so I'm curious. Like, we can create, like, a crappy version of it right now. So it's like you got... This. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If we put it here, and then you guys can see Patrick and Jay. If I raise this a few levels, what do you prefer, oh, video where? games or board games? Video games or board games? There's uh, no preference. Video games. Uh, there's no preference. for me video games, and then but. You know, board game, video games have become work for me. <laughs> like, if I w didn't have the Angry Joe show, it'd be video games. But now that I have the Angry Joe show, it's board games. Because it's like board games are my relaxation time on the weekend, drinking beers, interaction yeah. with people. I see Jay in front of me. I see Patrick in front yeah. of me. Video games, you know, we're sitting in front of the, the screen. This is my social time. This is like, Back yeah, to back. This is my is, social time, too. Yeah. So, like, I, I would say... Uh, for um, my social life, definitely mm -hmm. board games. But for just like getting off work and like relaxing and just blowing shit put up, it down in the corner. Video games. I see. Do you want it way down here? Yeah. No, it's the yin and yang. <laughs> I th I think I like it uh, where it's either side oh, yeah. by side no, like no, this, like where it. it's almost like a That's single close. shot. Yeah, Zoomers. I don't know. It's the, they're gonna have to make a like a very quick board <laughs> game for Zoomers with what the so, something fuck like. Is the <laughs> 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 I love that one. If they can make a board game for Zoomers where it's very fast paced and very meant for like people with short attention spans, maybe yeah. we should make our own. Well, yeah, there are some. There are, yeah, there are some out there. This is thirty-two years old. And so it 34. is 34 years old. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Holy. We're Holy going, we're shit. going back in the way back you got, you machine. got a wife, kids, mortgage. Oh, you know what? That's why I don't do Kobe because it gets all la, 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 la. Uh, this is the meadows. Uh, and then it takes a little bit to get through the meadows. Yeah, we're about, but no, it's starting to pick up again yeah. already. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're just setting up here. We're we're figuring out all sorts of good stuff to bring you uh, tabletop Sundays. Um, 
take the better in the, the future. Level, man. And eventually Warhammer Wednesdays when we can get that going. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for coming and hanging out with us. Exclusion, Shipwrecks, uh, Sarb, Sarb Jolt, uh, Lore Strim, Jet, Jetta Red, uh, Boom, Boon Moon. Uh, McDrunk again. <laughs> Gallon Tempest is here. Gallon. Always hey. fun. Yeah, Gallon always supports us yeah. on these tabletop ones. Um, Good to see you, let's Gallon. let's stop B and let's go into A uh, a little bit to see what A is is okay. doing for us. Right. Okay, while he does that, hey, and yo. we let A play a little. Oh, yeah. you're saying C-O-A. yeah? Stop B. Stop B. Stopped. Oh, and this you're playing is, A? This is A right All now. All right, you're okay. on A. Got you. So A is real quiet until it picks up. So setting up the board, we got that set up. We got actions and movement. Okay, so um, let's pull it out. Should we pull it out? Let's no. pull it out. <laughs> okay, this is going to be <laughs> wild and crazy, kids. Okay, but let's, let's not pull it out. And let's do the full production okay. when we pull it out. Right. And in that case, I want to. I kind of want to see where A goes, how long it takes for A to pick up. What what seconds are we at on A? Uh, it's two or is hours. it a countdown? It's a, it's a countdown. Fuck. Okay, so, so we like, don't really know how long A's been going. It's like into like the first couple of minutes. Yeah. yeah. In the future, we'll, we'll create a nice little track. That we made we, yeah, ourselves, that we, that we know, compress it yeah, and how, skip parts, it is yeah, and, and, and do that. So, but either tabletop, hey, hey fuck yeah, Mister Tab, <laughs> stick around. It's gonna be really awesome. We've got this this really cool classic game plus the Angry Joe Dice Tower. Yeah. It's fucking wild. So <laughs> we're about to begin here as soon as we hear the song pick up, which is. Probably it's gonna be a while. <laughs> Probably like twenty minutes. Let's yeah, see. Right. Let's see if it goes at twelve. We got ten seconds here. You could barely day hear two it. of WrestleMania. Let's go. What? Shit, I never even knew WrestleMania was going on right now. I didn't know it was fucking going, going on. Well, there goes multiple. There days. goes it picked up. There yeah. Go. So what I need to do is two. cut it to where it just yeah. starts it like starts right, right, right here. There. Yeah. It's at two o four. Yeah, it took a little okay. while. Yeah, I think it like starts at two o eight. So maybe two oh eight. So yeah. what is the I whole think, thing? I'm, I don't so know. How many seconds in do you think it is? Like twenty seconds? No, I think it's like minutes in because it was two oh four. Mm. I don't know. All what right, it, what's it at right now? Memorize it, then press the button to turn it off, and it should give you the whole count again. So that was at two oh four. It started, and then it starts at two oh five. So okay, so that's like a minute. About and, a minute. Yeah, in. and a half. Mm-hmm. Minute and a half in. Okay. Well, then, yeah, we'll have to use B for right now, you know, since, yeah. yeah. Okay, but mm. we, don't start with B Yeah, We're going to do B when, you know, uh, it's when we get to the AJ uh, or one caster. Okay. Okay, I think we're uh, we're trying. Did you guys see the Marvel 1940D Rise of Hydra game? You know, Sar, I don't know if I have a reaction on the main channel. I thought I did. I think we reacted to it live, so it's probably not a trailer reaction. Mm-hmm. It was pretty amazing. The cutscenes were out mm-hmm. of this world. It's gonna be a world so war maybe we'll game. wait. Yeah, and it's T'Challa's grandfather and and Captain America. So we're gonna have to see. Maybe when they show more gameplay, we can do one. You guys played this before? It's a fresh game. This is a fresh mm-hmm. game, Mister Tap. Uh, H Core, what's up? Grew up on tabletop. Love watching you guys get to grips with the rules and such in these streams, dude. H Core Schnitzel, the fact that you said that makes me feel so good because yeah. if there's one person and we do this whole show for H Core, I'm good yeah. <laughs> because you're not. What we've learned over time is that it's not fun to yeah. watch somebody learn a game. Yeah. Right. So we are putting out content that's mainly just content. Now. Where what is fun is once we know the game and we're playing, yeah, and we then get, get that it. that's yeah. content that I can be proud of. Yeah. What y'all um, didn't see is we showed up at one and like they were. Reading oh the yeah, we showed up yeah. one, but reading now the unfortunately <laughs> we were behind on everything else. So we were actually doing administrative stuff. Yeah. We were eating. Rules. We yes. were setting up all the cameras and all of our stuff here. Uh, so we're still not not totally good on the rules i'm sure we're gonna make a lot of mistakes and it's gonna <laughs> yeah. go as oh, in the so way this, the so this rules. was a yeah that was a that was, yeah. yeah i'm back at a yeah, yeah, yeah i was just wondering okay anyways so uh let's go ahead and get the uh show started so oh hey what the, that'll help luna me see luna. what the twitch alerts look like right 78 here. months man 
Get it right. It's, it's a there. couple days. That is, that is at least a couple days. That might Hold be on, what's up, bro? <laughs> Here's to 78 months. Hope the board game goes well. Getting ready to chill with my missus and her brother and lot. watch WrestleMania. How have you three been this Sunday? Great. What time is WrestleMania? Good, Fuck, we're walking oh, up. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to. Ain't nobody going to be watching. I know. Us. Be watching <laughs> us. Watch but that's fine because I can hit the record button and we're going to be using this um, and we'll, we'll cut together something for YouTube. Yeah. So, which reminds me, if we're showing off the dice tower and we get notifications, that'll, that'll block, thing. Block so I need to bit. find, I need to set up a notification pause button yeah. on the stream deck. I yeah. won't have it for right now. But I want to say thank you to Mr. Tap, who did 300 bit TC. This Bitties. song is badass. Yeah. Always yeah, yeah. have to play a game a couple of times to figure out the rules anyways. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. So, here we go. Go ahead, Patrick. Let's stop music and let's go into the countdown where i am going to hit the record button go a treat for you guys today uh, i have the awesomest thing in the mail this thing just showed up let me just jump right to showing you what it is we got this from den of imagination give me one second to get it set up here okay this thing is heavy and i hope i don't break this live so let me make room for where i'm going okay here we go <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but damn. Okay, give me uh, a cam close, actually. Full a cam, that's right. And we're going to grab that. Look at that. We're going to move this. <laughs> Guys, this, guess what this is? Okay, <laughs> clearly it's a bust, but this is a special, special bust because our friends at Den of Imagination sent us this. Check this out. Give me music. <laughs> Give me B. Yeah, nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is this? That's freaking awesome. Here, let's get, yeah, thank you. Okay, so, and then what's even cooler is, uh, let me stop. Let me try to do what that thing is doing. Okay, so check this out. They also sent us this little sweet platform with the aj logo look Man. at this emperor <laughs> joe yes and then and then that's not all guys this is the craziest part are you ready for this are you ready for this and all you do is you check this out ready you put in the dice hey <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I shit you not, my first roll ever, 11 and 12. This is a 12-sided dice. That's good luck. That's good luck. That is so freaking that cool. And then sweet. what you can do, it doesn't stop there. Number one, this is magnetized, so we can put different shields. I am the law. <laughs> law. I am the law. Magnetized. Boom. Right here. So you can swap out for different ones, a little crest. And then... Magnetized. Attached. Check this out. <laughs> what? And now you can do it even easier. We'll, we'll be over. Give you the full. That awesome. Hit. Okay, nice let's. Roll. Let me. Let me B. Right, yeah. Well. Let me just do B. Let me do B. There you go. B. Give me full B. Full B. Okay. No, I wasn't ready for B. Don't worry about B. All right. Here, let's go to uh, close up on that. And then, in fact, let me t t turn this thing around. So give me uh, <laughs> side a side by side perspective. Oh, there it goes. That's what I was with. Thank you so much. <laughs> Who that? Psycho girl. Who that? Psycho girl. 104 months. Sick. Hey, freaking Zewoo. 
Okay. Give me uh, AJ. AJ Close. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so wild. That's so cool. <laughs> Right, and then where's the uh, uh, dice? Yeah, now we can see the dice. So roll. we can get dice. I can put the dice in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Den of Imagination, those guys yes. over there in Poland. Some of the most amazing anime, uh, just animated imagination creators. They can 3D fabricate your face. You send them a picture, just like I did here, and they can craft you up a miniature. So if you want to be in your game, right, you know, like let's say a hero in the game, they'll paint you up and they'll put you in the, into your own game and you can get a dice tower bus like this. This is amazing. So That's you know, awesome. you know Emperor <laughs> Joe. I got to display this somewhere in the background in one of my videos. So thank you so much to Den of Imagination. Very, cool. very, very yeah. cool for sure. Yeah, so awesome. kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what we'll do is I want to keep this in the background. So we'll put it off to the side right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. Freaking sweet, man. Boom. God, that is awesome. Okay, and then when we want to roll, yeah. I'll put that. And you know what's great is since these dice are green, it, it wouldn't work on our green screen. In fact, let me put, yeah, see how the <laughs> dice disappear. disappear. So this time we're actually going to have to use the die roller. And I got, oh, look at this. I saw you just flip it over. Another 12. No, you didn't. You're just trying to be dramatic. A number 12. Here, give me, a, give me on uh, A close. This is a, that was a 12, and guess what this one is? I'm not going to move it or switch it. Well, good thing you're using Ten. them up now because... Yeah, I'm using helps. all the luck now. <laughs> <laughs> helps me out for later. Okay, so let me get B close. Let's set this up. And then... Whoop. Whoop. So, and then if you want, when you want to convert it to something where the dice don't go everywhere, <laughs> boom, hey. take that. There you go. And in fact, you put a little box right here and it'll stop it. That time, yeah. I got 10 and 4. So still, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> this is ridiculously cool, guys. All right. I'm geeking out. All right. Let's play. Because today, we are actually playing Advanced Space Crusade. Let's get that there. Okay. Give me. Let's just start the thing. So let's go to the uh, A over. So, as you can see, Advanced Space Crusade. And uh, let me bring this camera down. All right. See, what's wild and interesting about this game is that... Um, this is a GW game that uses 12-sided yeah. dice. Yeah, it's Ain't uh, no D6s. rarity. That's extremely rare. So that's kind of a piece of history. I, I think I only have three. Three total. Yeah. So look at that. Oh, What's and look up at this. Jimmy? All right, Jimmy. Here, I got to redo that, and then let me pull up that R, Jimmy. I'm going to move this here, and then press that again. There you go. <laughs> I love that. I love that one. <laughs> Extreme. Extreme. All right, Jimmy. Yo, what up? What's up, man? Months. Seventy months. Nice, yeah. bro. Okay, let me see if I've got uh, the the thing going. So let me read from here. So Advanced Space Crusade. Look how old this this rule book is. This is and how beat up it is. This is one of these old school. This game it came out in 1990. We're talking a 32, 34, 34 year old game. Um, and this is back when GW, when they used to write their rule books, they would actually like make jokes in the text. Yeah. <laughs> and it would be very flavorful, like uh, you know when they're they're talking about the uh, sphincter uh, and the sphincter and the the cysts will uh, eat you up. 
pulsing yeah. orifices. Yeah, if yeah. if a marine gets close to an orifice, it actually tells you, <laughs> it writes a little story about how it kills him and stuff like that. So um, it took us a little while to go through here, and this is the classic uh, Tyranids from like second edition. Uh, I think a little bit of third edition yeah. where they were wild. So I actually have a few of these old school models. So we're going to show you some of these old school models up close. This is what the Tyranids used to look like. These are the Tyranid warriors. All right. Bam. Very uh, ant-like. Yeah, they're big old weird, weird heads. And then here are some new school uh, gene stealers. These painted by Den of Imagination, who did the thing for us here. And those got the special tentacle mandibles. So. What is Advanced Space Crusade all about? Well, as you can see here on these uh, tiles, we're actually attacking a uh, alien ship. Yeah, like a, a hive ship. So, whereas in Space Hulk, you're you're around on a Hulk, yeah. you know, and a derelict and ship yeah. that's been infested by Tyranids. Here, a Tyranid ship is actually flying towards uh, Imperium space and threatening, you know, some core planets. And so, uh, the Emperor and his forces have decided to send uh, send in some elite Space Marines to try to destroy, uh, you know, certain. <laughs> Uh, pustules and stuff like these little targets here. Like here is a a butthole, <laughs> <laughs> basically, and a sphincter, a uh, four 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 vaginas, and then this looks like a s brain. And that? so you gotta kind of explore the ship until you reach one of these um, nodes and then destroy it. So we've never played before. We're probably gonna make plenty of mistakes. Uh, so bear with us, and uh, let's get down to it. So if we can go into uh, uh, A over, and there we go. Okay, so how do you begin? Well, um, actually, you start, let's go card cam, because you start with by setting up the uh, marine board here, and these are little exploration tiles. So you set up the perimeter of the ship and then the core of the ship. And here are um, some of Jay's forces. He's got squad A, B, C, D, E, all the way through H, basically. Yep. So uh, let's look at his squads right now. Let me A. Jay, what do you got? Yeah, so right here are my three scout squads. That's your core uh, of this game. Squad A, where's squad A? Squad A. Yeah. Squad They're all B. the same. Squad B, squad C. Gotcha. And then we have uh, a tactical uh, marine unit, which is right here. Squad what? They are squad. I think it's E. e. Yeah. E. Yep. Your and Terminators and are D. Terminators are D. Big D. Squad D. And then D. I have my heroes, which is uh, the uh, commander, a librarian, and a chaplain, which coincide with G, F, and H. Okay, nice. So we'll have to uh, role play this and see who is who. Uh, Jay, wh who are you? Uh, well, I got to go with the commander, right? Yeah, which one? Which model are you gonna That's be? That's this one right here. There. Okay. Uh, I'll be the chaplain because he's fucking awesome. Yep. Chaplains are always great. And then Patrick will be the librarian. Uh, librarian. 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 There you go. Nice. And then as we go into the individual battles, we'll probably name people in chat. Because uh, basically, you have a force roster sheet, which uh, the game comes with this little um, force list. So it shows you the Tyranids. Um, and this is old school Tyranids with some Tyranids I've never even heard about. Uh, check this out. So Tyranid Warriors, those are the ones that you saw earlier. A pure strain gene stealer. A Zote. And I've always, always wanted to fight with a Zote. Well, I have one today. Zotes used to be controlled by the Tyranids and the, and the Tyranids. Here's, here's a Zote. Now, this is actually a Zote from Blood Bowl, but this is what the Zotes look like. So the Zotes are also in 40K, 
And uh, it's just like this ancient race that I think the Tyranids have enslaved and sort of used to be their translators. Uh, they would they would talk on behalf of the Tyranids way back in the day. This is old school Tyranid stuff. And then some Tyranids I've never even heard of, a grabber slasher and a hunter slayer. And I was like, oh, that grabber. is so cool. Like, I'm so into 40K lore. I had to immediately look up what these look like because I had never heard of it. I've got a picture here for you of a, what a grabber slasher is. Here you go. Man, it won't let me do it's a, a arm with a, uh, a stinger. Yeah, it's just like little fucking grubby dude on the floor. Uh, mm -hmm. Doc, are you still here? Can you start a poll? I try to start a poll for who's going to win, but... Okay, well, uh, who wins the first encounter? Yeah. Because uh, this is a campaign game. Give me A over. Cool. Prediction, yeah. It's a prediction, not a poll. Oh, okay. So you have to do, I think, right? Is that what I was doing? It's like that's what you're doing. Oh. You want a prediction. Tell them tell them how to do it. Because <clears throat> Patrick needs to know how to do it for when you're not around. Well, I think it's a command, but I don't know if I can't do it on the app or not. Mm-hmm. But yeah, something uh, you can't do a prediction on your phone. Of course you can. Oh, oh fuck. that's so, right. so I we need, need a we right. need a little producer area. For yeah, you. I need my little setup so I can. We need to build a, like a little producer box right there. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I can have like a mic where I yeah. press, in, press in. And okay, uh, so let us uh, begin the game. Um, it's gonna let's be go. Joe versus Jay, the Tyranids versus. Space Marines, right? Space so Marines, first yeah. thing is Tyranny is uh, Space Marine deployment, and let's go to card cam. So there's Space Marine deployment. Jay is already set up. He's put one Space Marine scout squad in each of his flanks. Here's the flanks: left flank, right flank, and center flank. He's put three scout squads right here. Here are his Terminators, so he's very strong in the center. Here is his tactical squad, and he decided to put all three heroes on their own over here. So I don't know how that's going to work out. We're going to we're going to see. So um, we need to go on to exploration. So as the Space Marines move through the hive ship, they're trying to find a way to their objectives, following promising passages or pushing through small, slimy crevices that suddenly open out into vast chambers. This exploration is a tense experience fraught with terror and spine-chilling shocks as the full horror of the mucus-dripping intestinal hive ship unfolds before them. As a Space Marine player, you send squads of reconnaissance uh, into potential pathways. Their progress is represented by these uh, exploration cards. So what he's looking for in here are ducks. Ducks that's going little little passageways to take him from the perimeter of the ship into the core of the ship because his objectives are in the core stack of uh, exploration cards. So, uh, in order to start this, all he does is um, he go ahead and he flips over the first one. So, we'll do it for Jay. Yep. We're going to flip it over. Oops. And it is a passage. Let's see if we can catch this on the green screen cam. Uh, it's still, still super tiny. Small. Super teeny. So oh, what does the passage say? Oh, it's a little bit green, too, on the <laughs> yeah, green screen. I'll pink. read passage for you. It says, this passage leads further into the hive ship. Place this card in the discard pile. If the recon squad are scouts, and it is, um, and this is the first passage card turned over, you may turn over the next card. Mm -hmm. So check this out. So one. we place this card in the discard pile. I don't know if there's one discard pile. I think there is, but I'll just put it off there. So because he has a recon squad, they're faster than other Marines. He got he a gets, BOGO. He gets to go again. Yep. Damn, it's another passage. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then in this case, then that's where it, it stops. 
So I'll read the passage. So this recon squad has found a promising passage leading further into the ship. If the squads in the recon box are Space Marine Scouts, which it was, and this is the first card, you can discard it and turn over the next card. The light armor and reconnaissance training of Space Marine Scouts allowed them to move more swiftly into the alien ship. Okay, so follow the instructions for the second card as usual. If the recon squad aren't scouts, or if this is the second card you've turned over from this deck, simply discard the card. Okay, so we discard the card. Okay, so that was your left flank, Jay. Mm -hmm. Now we move on to, so your squads found a passage, then they found another passage. So they're walking through the ship. Now we're going to the center flank. <gasps> you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> another duck? He got ducked right wow. away. Oh, nice. Which is There's what he was looking good for. Good scouts. So ducked. This duct leads from one area of the hive ship to another, taking you ever closer to your objective. Leave the card face up. From the next exploration phase, you can start turning over cards from the core of the ship. So, uh, uh, this is uh, Brother, brother uh, Ezekiel. <laughs> brother Ezekiel contacting. Motherfucking, see, what we need is we need our two uh, cameras here. Yeah. So I, I need to get these two cameras going. So bring us back to um, A over. Yeah. So what we also need is let's get a new slot. So here's what I'm going to do, a new camera. So I'm going to do A over. Mm -hmm. I'm going to duplicate A over. Chad, we're going to do some administrative stuff right now. So, uh, A over, and I'm going to say. Tray? A over card. Oh, uh, with the yeah. close view? Yeah. Okay, so with A over card, I'm going to look for the card cam. So, we're going to turn off that camera, and then I'm going to add the card cam. Okay. And while Joe's doing that, I'm going to let y'all get an update on the prediction. So far, we have Jay's Space Marines at 49% and Joe's Tyranids at 51%. Nice. It's with close. 64K and 67K, respectively. It nice. is close. Okay. So there it got it. Hey, Snoochies Boochies. <laughs> Loving the setup. Let's go. Thank you so much. We put a lot of effort into it, spent yeah. a lot of money, and actually you guys, with your support, has made it possible. Yeah. So let me thank you for the awesome setup. Yeah. Okay, so. So that was over? Yeah, so, so you right. stopped there. Now we need to see what your right flank is doing. Okay. Let's go back to card cam. Uh, just the regular card. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've got that one. Now we've got this one. Let's turn over the first one. It is ducked. That is bullshit. Hey. You shuffled them. You put them in whatever order you did. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It, change Jay, your bets now if you want yeah. to. Jay is literally <laughs> jumping into my crevices. I didn't touch him. And he is like sliding his way through all the muck and, and mucus. And apparently he knows exactly how to slither his way through a tyranid ship. Okay, well, you're already into the core. Maybe we can actually complete, because it's supposed to be like a campaign yeah. along uh, yeah. A over. Um, it's supposed to be, or actually, uh, that's what I was trying to a find the card. New one. Oh, yeah, so let me set up the A one. card for you. Because now there's an over. Okay, so, um, yeah, and we're, we're going to have to mm, reorganize yeah. things for you. Uh, let's put it here for next right to, now. Yeah, I, I know it's that. it's not ideal spot for it. Well, it's next to the card clean, which is oh yeah, you're right. So it's close. Okay, so there you go. Cool. So we got the a, we got yeah. the A over cam right yeah, here, yeah. and then we got the battle board right here. Okay, so uh, we got it then. Then that then that's good. So moving on. Um, so in the, in the case of a duct, let's say he found the duct. So the squad has found one of the vital connecting passages uh, into that lead from one area of the hive ship 
to another. It may be a vent in the roof of a tunnel, a gaping chasm that drops to a lower level, or a vast orifice surrounded by cancerous cysts and waving poisonous fronds. What's important is that it leads on towards the Space Marine's objective. So... Jay's sticking his body in that. <laughs> uh, leave the card face up on top of the deck. Next turn, you can start turning over cards from the core deck. I can't believe you got to do it. It's ridiculous. If you want to keep exploring the perimeter, Jay, rather than move on towards your objective in the core, place the duck card on top of the core deck instead of discarding it. Hell no. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be a point. Next turn, you continue to turn up cards from the perimeter deck. You might choose to do this if you turn up the duck card early in the assault. And you want to press on through the perimeter to see what strangers, artifacts, or secondary objectives you can find. So that actually does matter. Yeah, so, but I already have one that's not. Yeah, you yeah. have one. Yeah, so you're can, hoping can, that this Yeah, side, they can look at strangers, artifacts, secondary yeah. objectives. And secondary objectives allow Jay to, like, turn off uh, certain key areas of my ship that slows my reinforcements. Yeah. So, all right. All right, so then in that case, uh, there were no encounters in this instance. Uh, so we'll go on to Tyranid deployment. As the Tyranid player, now it's my turn, you move your blips around the Hive network to best organize your defenses. Now, Jay, uh, close your eyes, because I am now going to reveal my... Uh, so you do this like a D and d right? I've got a dungeon master sort of thing there, and I've got... Uh, my ambush is set up. So here is one uh, type of Tyranid in an ambush on the left flank. Here's one in the center. Jay, close your ears. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> okay. you got, so then you got your first wave right there and second wave right here. So these are the blips. Now, under each one of these blips is a Tyranid type, so you can't really see that yet. And, and then I'm going to build the map right here. So basically, it's hidden deployment. Jay doesn't know what aliens are coming his way. No. So, uh, but it is now my phase called Tyranid deployment, and then I get to move around blips. Okay, so I can move blips forward or backward. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my second wave blips into the first wave. And I can do that because it says max 10 blips in a single spot. So I have done that behind the scenes. Yeah, I actually go full on AJ cam. You want AJ cam? Yeah. So as you can see here, I'm manipulating it. Basically, I pushed up my second wave into the first wave. The ship's synapses are firing off, and all the tentacles that Jay is slithering by is alerting the Tyranid swarm, and we're coming. He doesn't notice it. It seems all quiet right now in the alien ship, but oh, shit's coming. All right, so I moved all my shit forward. Now what do I do? Oh, I can even teleport blips. Uh, which is a special Tyranid thing. I don't need to teleport anyone right now. Um, now I get a reinforcements roll. So even though at the beginning of the game, Jay uh, set up uh, a certain amount of forces. Let me get uh, A. A clan? Or A four. Yep. So those are that's Jay's force. And then I set up a certain amount of forces. Let me get uh, B. There's my forces. And uh, so his forces, and then we'll go A, B. Yeah. So his forces are how many points, Jay? What did we say, 900? Yeah, Jay's going with 900. So he gets 900 points worth of forces. And I, as the Tyranid player, only get 600 worth of forces. Now, that's because um, the ship the tyranid ship itself can spawn uh reinforcements over and over like an endless wave of enemies if you're wondering let me get b cam close if you're wondering why i have some orcs <laughs> these orcs which are also painted by our partners at den of imagination um that's because the tyranids can have mind slaves on their ship I even have Chaos Warriors. 
So just think little brain tentacles hanging off the side of these guys, and they're like mindless zombies wandering the ship. So I have slaves of chaos, slaves of orcs, and then here's my Tyranid force. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on, let's go to uh, the Tyranid reinforcement roll. So keep it on here. Now it says, each turn, you'll get the chance to randomly draw extra blips, Tyranid blips from reinforcement pool, uh, to represent Tyranid war warriors waking from hibernation as, a result, as the assault is underway. The number of blips you can draw is determined by the size of the game you're playing. There are more hibernating Tyranids on larger hive ships, so the numbers of reinforcements increases. The force points table tells you which column to use on your reinforcements table. So I'll show you this on the green screen. Here is the uh, Tyranid reinforcements. So we are playing a raid. Uh, skirmish is the smallest. We're playing a raid at 900 points. You can even ma do a massive Tyranid ship at all-out assault. So it looks like I roll a d12, and if I roll between 5 or 6, I get 1, 7 or 8, 1, 9 or 12. That's what I want. Two blips. Two extra reinforcements. Come on, one. So let's go ahead and roll. And you know what? We're going to roll with... Oh. Let's go. Hey, we're going to roll with It's the been rolling ship. good. Yes, it has been rolling good so far. Let's Here a, we let's go. Let's get a big view of it. Okay, so there comes the dice. Come on. And we're going to put it in here. Oh! oh what? <laughs> no. Okay, wait. I'm going to show. It was it. rolling so high. It is a one. Yes. Of yes. course. Rolling 11s, 12s constantly. <laughs> so uh, a one means no reinforcements show up. Darn. Okay, that's fine. I got plenty of Tyranids in the ship already. I don't need reinforcements yet. Yet. All right. So let's see. Uh, what's next? Oh, and then I think it goes back to Jay. Let me double check. Yeah, goes back to Jay. Okay, let's go back to the uh, car cam. Clean. Okay, so Jay, it is now your deployment phase. Yep. So do you want to uh, move people? Oh, wait, that's max one counter. Okay, never mind. Uh, move people from reserves up. But Jay's force I don't have is yep. yeah, he's is a sm it? it's a small force. It's us. It's us. And Jay split his force evenly. I'm wondering if maybe in the future Jay might be like, well, fuck it. I want to go hard in just two flanks or one flank. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. But then that limits his exploration. Right. Oh, Jay, you might want to use a strategy here where if you start backing off, you can then reinforce into yeah, the ducks. Nice. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, why am I helping you? <laughs> <laughs> He already has enough. I, should, I shouldn't have. Yeah, we need I to go. We need to go. You need to go? Okay, yeah. so you're going to back off uh, the Terminator squad? No, I'm not. No, I'm going to go. I'm press oh, forward. Oh, well, it makes press, sense. Press forward. So do you, you, you're going to press forward in this direction yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Everything's so. fine. Everything's good. All right, I'm we're okay. going to do exploration left flank. Yep. Here we go. It is a trap. Oh, oh, it's a trap. Good. It's a trap. I, I need something good for me. Okay. So let me read the trap. You've walked into a trap. Leave the card face up on the top of the deck. The next phase, go ahead and give me uh, uh, AJ uh, close. And I'm, I'm talking. All right. So uh, you've walked into a trap. Leave the card face up on top of the deck. The next phase, you'll have to re-roll on the traps table to see what effects this trap has, then discard the card. The trap only affects the recon squad. Okay. So the Space Marine Scouts ran into a trap on that side, and we'll have to roll on a chart to see what happens. But I think that's only next, next turn. Next turn. Yeah. So this trap kind of slows you down. But I'm going to read from the traps. Cool. The Tyranid starship is a dangerous place, and exploring the ship is a tense experience. At any time, the recon squad could walk into a deadly trap. A trap only affects the recon squadron that turned over the card. Usually, a trap only affects a single random member of the squad. Wow. Work out which one it affects by rolling a dice, flipping a coin, or any other method that seems appropriate. Any squad member killed by a trap obviously can't fight on future encounters. 
cross that model off your roster seat. You can't avoid traps. See, this is why we wanted to name yeah. you guys in, in chat. Now, do you have uh, you have enough space there to oh, name yeah. people? Yeah. Okay. You got names? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go with uh let's go with squad A. Okay, chat, who wants to volunteer for squad A? Let's get uh, uh intermission AFK. Or chat AFK. Uh, chat AFK. So chat, I need you to speak up if you want to join squad A. Casual cheeseburger is the sergeant. Got it. Michael. No, it's me check. Me check one QC. Thank you for thirty-five months. Hey, yo, they were last time. So yep. uh, it's cheeseburger. Me yep. check one QC. Gallant Tempest. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay I'll, so I'll pause it. Next. I'll pause it. So uh, me check one QC. Me. M I C H E K. Me check. Just put me check. And then the next is Gallant Tempest. And then after Gallant Tempest Gallant. is Game Third, uh, Game No Gamer for Fun, and then Dumpster Juice. Mm. That's your th those are your five <laughs> squad members. Yep. Don't worry, chat. We have three squads of recon, so we're gonna get Dump more of you later. Dumpster's got the the big heavy bolter. All right, go ahead and bring us back into um, a. Okay. okay, so that's a trap. Oh, let's actually go to card cam. Okay, so we got uh, now we are in the duct. So the middle flank, you're now going to be pulling from the core deck. And I swear to God, if you pull a primary objective, I'm going to be, be uh, so mad. Sweet. Here we go. Passage. So uh, the passage leads further into the high. Plays this card on the discard pile. If the recon squad are scouts, and this is the first card that you turned over, you may pull another card. Nice. So here's your second card. Blocked passage. Hell Bastards. yeah. That's the worst one for you. So let me read. No, it's not the worst one, but it is a progress stopping one which yeah. is what i want so blocked passage says what looked like a promising passage has turned out to be a dead end the walls ahead close up anytime i'm talking and describing like these grab me uh the walls ahead close up and there is no way on the squad has to retrace its steps or spend some time blasting and cutting through the obstruction leave the card face up on top of the deck next turn all you can do is discard this card. Okay. You cannot turn over another card. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely a delaying nice. ta tactic nice. right there. Nice. Okay, give me card. <clears throat> All right, next one is... Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a primary objective. Oh, no. Sweet. He found the energy cortex. Yes. That's well, the good one. Well, we're going in our first mission, chat. Go ahead and uh, give me uh, over... Over full, full, so that we could see the cameras. Yeah, so uh, this is the energy cortex. So the right flank has found the uh, energy cortex. Um, let me read that. The energy cortex room. What? what? That sounded interesting. Yeah, what was that? Uh, so it should have been a Twitch notification. Let me turn it back. And then, so I think we're missing a few for some reason. I'm going to redo some of these subs. So we missed a few people. RK on. And Patrick will, will call you out the rest of these. Yeah, we have RK on. We subscribed a little while ago. And then we have uh, the... Mikel, you, you did the QC, See, Mike, Mikel QC with the <coughs> <coughs> me, me, me. And then uh, the new one is going to be from our Iron Man fin <laughs> Phoenix. Gifted one sub. Appreciate you, man. We couldn't do this without you. Thanks for hanging out with us. All right. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. <coughs> 
All right, AJ. AJ Cam. You found it? Energy Cortex. Primary objective. The Energy Cortex is a large multi-chambered pump that circulates vital fluids around the hive ship, Jay. All right. At its center, covered by thin carapaces, are leech-like creatures that draw their sustenance by sucking fluids from arterial pipes, swelling or contracting with varying rates of flow. <laughs> I love this. Whoever wrote this book is amazing. As they do so, they secrete a wide variety of enzymes that act <laughs> upon the cortex to regulate its pumping in the ship. The energy cortex constantly pulsates as the uh, viscous... Yeah, as the viscous fluids are pumped around its muscular tubes. This produces a deep throbbing sound at the lowest range of human hearing. The sound at this frequency is so powerful and penetrating that it can cause disorientation, nausea, and temporary blackouts in humans close to the source. Ooh, so this is probably going to make you a little queasy mm -hmm. to be in this room as this thing pulsates. <laughs> uh, board sections one through six. All right. Oh, that's all of them. Okay. Uh, objective marker. Energy cortex. Objective marker number three. Let's see what the energy cortex looks like. Is the numbers printed on here somewhere? Oh, well, there's like a picture, the picture of it. Yeah. yeah. True. Oh, gross. Okay. I found it. Um, located on board section two. Initial Space Marine Forces. All the squads from recon and assault force boxes. So if we go on over to the card cam, he found it. So squad C, squad C. and yep. squad E. That's the tactical squad. So you got your tactical and you got your thing. I think you... Jay, you son of a bitch. That's my weakest flank. Oh, good. Wow. Jay's getting super lucky. All right, so C and E squads are going in there. We'll have to choose uh, uh, people from chat. Don't don't call your name out yet. If you do, we're not putting it in there because I can't. We have to go a little at a time. So squad C and E are going in. And initial Tyranid forces. Any blips from the first and second wave boxes. Teleporter cysts. Two cysts set up anywhere except the Space Marine entry points and the first board section. Anywhere between the entry. Okay, got it. All right, so now what we have to do, let's go to overcam. Is, <clears throat> yeah, over full. Is uh, I have these cool little uh, mini board sections, right? And I create these secretly off camera to create a, uh, a board. So let me do that right now. Um, first things first, it's I uh, let me shuffle these. And then, okay, so this is the first one. That's section one. That goes into a cup that I had meant for Jay or... No, because I have other things in there right now. And then two. Two is going to go right here. Okay. Will you give me a shot with A? Hmm? Will you give me a shot with A to your board? No. No? Because Jay will look at it. Oh, oh, I will oh, look yeah. at it. <laughs> oh, my God. No. That's what you work. can do is get oh, a shot audience. of AJ. Get a shot of AJ <laughs> up close. You can see me setting up the board back All here. Right. So it's going to so be a secret. mystery to everyone, yes. All right. And then Only Joe will know. Uh, it is, how do we do it? Yeah, so, so you the, the, pull the third one, and and then you would pick one of the two. So pull the third one, and it is three. So I get that ready. And three is going to go alongside two. Yeah. Which is. Hard to 
of CDs. Okay, got it. Okay, and then we pull out the 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 two. No, and then you, you dump you in them, the three. You keep them there because it still has sides to go on. Okay, so then this should be in a coffee cup. Yeah, it's kind of And then I open this, and this is a four. So four is not yet in the cup, but now I search, and it's going to be next to one. Got it. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, I like it, I like it. All right, and then uh, for the next one, I put one back, yep. I put, put four, four in, right? And now I uh, reveal six, and then from these four, we're going to set it up, and it is a two. So next two, aha! And this is six. Um, how am I going to do that? That. Oh, no. Interesting. <laughs> I I think there might be a little jank there. So six is in here. Two is in here now. So they're all in here. Yep. And then you do five. I don't need to put five in there. I just need to shuffle these and see which one it goes next to. Yep. And then I can choose. Then we're good. So it goes next to two, which is... Impossible? No, it's not impossible. Aha. Okay, I have the board set up secretly behind my uh, thing here. And it says that I can have two cysts. And these are super gross. I'm going to show you all the cysts. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Give me a cam close. There's some cysts. They're your teleport cysts. Yeah. And I can put those on some uh, some boards. And then I have to put the energy cortex located in board section two. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, Jay. You got the easiest mission here. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> <coughs> That's some screwed up bits. Um, two cysts anywhere except for the Space Marine entry point and the ward section. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I could put it actually over here and then we could put it over here. Cool. What board tile? See, Jay doesn't know where which yeah. w which where two is. Yeah. So you heard the word two, right? Yeah. But you don't know where two is. None of us do. Nobody right? Does. <laughs> Nobody, Nobody does. does. Yeah. yeah. Just Joe. Just All Joe. right. Cool. But I will say that this one's relatively easy. I should have kept that to myself. Yeah, because right? we don't know. Yeah. So we'll see. All right. Um, and then any blips from the first and second wave boxes. So uh, f this was right flank. So I only have three blips to set up initially and initial to any blips from the first and second wave boxes initial tyranid forces now where can i set up the initial forces blips placing blips on the board is that whenever you place a new board section you check the corresponding hidden setup file to see if there are any blips okay so i could put the blips on at the beginning Tyr tyranids are initially placed on the board as blips All right. Setting up the board. You can place blips wherever you want on the hidden setup map, except for the Space Marine entry point tile and the hidden on the entry point tile and the hidden setup tile that it's connected to. Okay, so you so you can't I can't put it right at the first tile, but anywhere after that. Got it. Burbies. Biddies. SMZ Lost, thank you for the 100 biddies. I'm feeling pretty generous today. Stand by. Okay. Nice. Okay, hang on one second. Let that the Twitch thing wasn't on for that, so I'm going to redo it, SMZ. 
Did we call out this gentleman here? Yeah. yeah. Iron, okay, Iron Man Phoenix. Okay. Nice. Setting up the board. Okay. Chulu, placing new board. Chulu yeah. Uh, J. So, setting up the, at the start of the battle, only the Space Marine entry points. Give me cam over. Uh, do you want card or uh, table? Card? No. no. Uh, sorry. Table. Uh, uh, for card, I'll say card. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is section... Man, my eyes suck. One. Tile one. Just so happened that one is at the front. And then, how did I set this up? Like that. Oh, I get to place the Space Marine entry point anywhere. That's right. Um, okay, okay. I like that. Then let's do this instead. How many cysts do I get? I get two cysts. Yes. Okay, then this is not here. Instead, this is tile four. <laughs> and then the orientation is there. All right, so explain this to me. Yeah. On the card, I flipped it over. I found the the energy cortex. Energy cortex. So you found so the energy cortex area of the ship. So do I set up Give my guys the in there? Cam. No, you're setting your guys in the entry point, entry way point. So, but I thought I, I found the energy cortex. I have to. I found like the the found the orifice vague lo that location. goes into yeah the vague location. Okay, okay, okay. So put put the energy cortex up in here. That shit. Holy shit. That's Damn. on the that's on the look at that shit. Holy moly, we that's a, a massive we got donation. A Let SMZ. me redo that one. You're fucking crazy, bro. What? We're gonna put AJ for that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Put me. <laughs> We're gonna Okay, I'm gonna redo it. Ready? Hey gamers, Billy Mason. <laughs> and I have something for you. Are you an idiot who buys triple A games? Are you tired of this is a new... I haven't seen this <laughs> notification. <laughs> is this complicated keyboard and mouse too much for you to figure out? <laughs> is this old controller with its buttons and triggers <laughs> too much for your little digits? <laughs> it's a shame you get... Joe needs to be zoomed in. I have the thing for you. Time Joe! Time oh, let me let it finish playing. Give us money to not play the game you already paid for, because I put roadblocks in the game that you want to get over. Isn't that pay to win? No, because we call the time savers. Billy <laughs> Mays! <laughs> There's more. Call Alex makes a perfect Billy Mays. Points, <laughs> Mark II upgrades and materials for crafting. So you better buy now, because I'm Billy Mays. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking idiot. Yeah, uh, let's purchase some time savers. Yeah, that's right. Billy Mays told me to. Yeah, that's right. I am an idiot. Nice. That's awesome. SMZ Laws, Joe, this is for the last 10 years of supreme content. You made me laugh on days that were dark, and I am super thankful I started watching when I was just 15. Man. Holy crap. Love you and your show, man. I hope uh, I could go to a gaming convention and meet y'all one day. We will definitely, definitely. Yeah, let, dude. let you know. Joe and Alex uh, are looking into the next convention we're going to. Me and Jay just got back from Adepticon yeah. in uh, Illinois, right? Yeah, Schaumburg. Uh, so we will be attending a future one. Um, I don't know. Which ones are around you, SMZ Lost? Give us an idea so that we can maybe link up. So, uh, thank you so much for the yeah. extremely generous That's donation. Wild. That actually paid for my um, <laughs> Advanced Space Crusade copy. Yeah. Because I got this off eBay. Uh, some awesome previous owner painted some of these older miniatures, and he sold it on eBay. It was $300. He just paid for it. <laughs> 
Because they're, they're hard as hell to find, they are. too. They are. Because uh, this the game is 34 years old. So uh, what's that uh, right there? Uma. Uma. U- Uma. U- Uga-ma. Uma. Uga-ma. I think so. Uma 21. <laughs> I hope Multiverses has a successful comeback. When does that come out? That's April sometime, isn't it? Thank you. Uma, tell us, uh, when, when does that come? Right, back I think to that's come, coming soon. Yeah, back to that. Over. The overcam. So we're going to start with um, this entry point. So do we, do we have doors here? Get your squad C and get your squad E ready. C is here. Yeah. And we're going to uh, zoom in here. Let's go on the uh, A cam. And I need doors at each of the alien entr- alien vagina entr- doors. Alien vaginas, yeah, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like Sauron's eye, kind of. Nah, no, no. Like, nah. Don't. Doors that are, there's a few more <laughs> spaces there for doors. What? There's three more doors there. Three more? In fact, there's even more doors than three. There's five doors. What? Mr. Ted Bot, thank you very much. That's correct. Hey, like that? And, and like that. And, and then like that. Yeah. I'm going to see where we set up the doors, actually, because that's quite a few doors. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's see where do the doors go. Where do the doors go? Doors. Um, you like doors? Doors. Portals. This diagram shows which can squares contain portals. These are places no bright doors are placed on the squares where two boy, bo- two boards are joined together. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like uh, when they're s- open, the door is simply moved. So doors at your entry points, two entry points there. I got to. G- yeah. Th- I'm already in. Nope. No, bullshit. Nope. You have to open the no, door. No, bullshit. When the door is simply. Shut up, Jay. The door is simply moved to one <laughs> side to show that the passage <laughs> is clear. If the door is destroyed, <laughs> remove it entirely as it's obviously cannot be shut again. Okay. What, uh, Mr. Ted Pot? And uh, thank you again. Yes. Look at this creature Look here. This is gross. This isn't even a real creature. The guy didn't even finish drawing. <laughs> <laughs> the Tyranids back then were wild. Hell yeah! What it, the fuck? Flippy it's like master. Half a, half a it like a little like little a tentacle guy yeah. that walks around, and then it, but then his face turns into a centipede. It's like a gene stealer. Like a baby gene stealer. It's like a baby <laughs> gene stealer. I know, right? Uh, that is so cool. craziness. I like the, the old old Flippy shit. Flippy raiding with doing some raids. Appreciate you. Thanks for joining us. There's the vagina door. Oh, uh, yep, the vagina and doors. Alien vagina, vagina doors. Right there. What's up, Ja? Sam, hi. Ja. Oh, you know. Ja, Sam, fry. Right. Fry, fry. Um, I messed it up. Damn it. Just Ja. Ja. Just jaw. Okay, so we're going into our first battle. Let's I don't check think there's doors there, though. There are doors. Shut the fuck up. I'm just saying because <laughs> I'm, I can't doors. even be on the board. L- listen, I'm not Jay, even on here, the board. We're going to have to do because you're going to trigger me. You're getting real close to triggering me. Just let me ask you this. I'll one. let you finish okay. and then I'll speak. All right, so this is the entry point. There's no, like, hexes, no squares here on this entry point. They start over here. So I was a start. That would be my first starting point. Okay. Or not. But, Jay, you can't just make up assumptions on how a game works, right? Um, that's why I'm asking. Okay, that's well, asking. you don't need to ask me because I've read through the rules, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up the board. It's okay if I ask. No, it, you're, what you're doing, you're not, you're not asking. You're saying that, that that's not how it's set up. Basically, you're questioning whether that's how it's set up. It, and, that's, and that's not a valid question? Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to fuck you, man. I'm not going to I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, screw I'm you over, that. Jay. I just I want to play right. kind of com- uh perplexing. Okay, that, well that, let's you know. let's let's look it up cuz who knows? You may you may be right. Uh and I, we, and I, we I'm looked okay up the rules. I'm okay if I'm wrong. Jay, we looked up the rules, let's see. Uh 3 hours ago now. So we, we could use a refresher. Let's stop 
and let's uh, let's stop everything here. Let's go to the rules questions. Uh, we okay. we made a specific. Uh, <laughs> There you go, rules question. We, go. we made a specific frame here for you guys so that uh, when we need to dive into the rule book uh, to figure out a question, we can we can at least see everything all big. So, um, setup process. So as we read before, it says, these are placed upright in the groove. Okay, doors are placed on squares where two boards join together. So um, if we look here, your space marine, marine entry point, is that marine entry point a separate board from the main board? I don't know. Is it? Well, uh, can you pull it off from the main board? Okay, but it's not a play area, right? Why okay, are you fine. defining what a play area no, whatever. is, Jay? It doesn't matter. Let's just go. I had a question. Really? There. No, I had a question. It, it, it is obviously it's it's it's. I'm just taking you step by step through it. Okay. Okay, so it says doors are placed on the squares where two boards join together. Should there be doors there? Do you think? I'm asking you. I'm just asking a question, Jay. This is not a board. This that's is not a board. This is not a board. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking. This, this and that's what this, I was asking. This is not a board. What, it, what would you call that? <laughs> the, this is a board. These are all boards. This is not a board. This does not look like this. Okay. Go ahead and uh, slot it in. And th there, there's no doors there then, Jay, because it's not a board. Okay. Um, moving on. Can you take the doors off? Okay, so now Jay gets two squads. He gets squad C and E. Let's go to a close-up of uh, uh, camera A. And let's name these people in chat. You're going to go yeah. into the gross ship. So uh, who wants to be? Let's start with the scout squad to your right. If you want to be a soldier in the scout squad, let me know. Just type me <laughs> or um, I'm I've I will join. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> There's a little lag to the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have Phoenix. Uh, casual, do we get casual cheeseburger? Just pro, right? just yeah. type F E E N X. He said Phoenix. Cheeseburger, bro, you're already in <laughs> squad uh, hey. A. Don't if you're already on a squad, obviously don't be on two squads, you <laughs> jerk. Dogs, uh, 2018. He's Dogs. gonna join. Samurai Queen wants to join. Hang on, uh, we're 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 gonna go in order, order here. here. I don't think it's fair. Yeah. So, um, in fact, go to uh, Chat AFK so that we can see who who's who types it first. So I'm over here at Dogs at yep. 2018. Oh, weird! It just cleared chat. That's odd. Hmm. Uh, do cat uh. Kalan Nightwing and Samurai Queen. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they die real fast. Uh, I take it. Yeah. So Jaw. Jaw. Uh huh. Can you be a Tyranid instead? No. <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. Bizarre. Uh, bizarre. Bizarre. Is that four? I think that's four. Yep. What other factions is there? There are no other factions. Bizarre. There are Marines and Marines. Because the Tyranids aren't going to have names. They're all named Angry Joe. They're bugs. They're all Angry They're Joe. They're all bugs. All right. I'll go to, yeah, but no, you're already in. So how many is that? You got four Scout Marines? Yeah, and I need uh, one, two, three, four more. You need a fifth. I need four more for the tech. Oh, because you already named people? Yeah. Okay, we need four more. Samurai Queen, don't be difficult. She's already there. Uh, Parmesan Don <laughs> says he wants to be a general. Parm. Okay, Parm is the the private right there. Can I be Slanesh? No, you may not. <laughs> we are playing Advanced Space Crusade. There is no Slanesh here. Slanesh, so she's being difficult. Thanks. Me, Dr. Green Buzz. Thank you. Yeah, Dr. And Samurai finally decides yeah. to give in. <laughs> uh, too late. I already put her in. 
Oh, you already put her in? Good. Okay. Um, let's give a minute longer. How many other slots you got? Uh, two more. Oh, look there. Ye- glue do. Glue do. One, two, three is going to join up. Then while we're waiting right here, let me go ahead and give the uh, results to the uh, prediction. So we got J Space Marines at 49% with a 74 Tronza. Tronza is joining. And then Joe's Tyranids is... And then Chunky Monkey. I think that'll do you, right? Tronza and Chunky Monkey. Do you have any other slots left? Chunky Monkey. Yep, I'm going to put them in, too. Go ahead. Yeah, and then it's Joe's Tyranids with 51% with 79 That's what it was before. K. So right. They they maintain um, the, um, the 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 uh, razor's edge the split. Yeah. Okay, so go close up, man. All right. All right. Uh, well, that's uh, let's see, that's clean A. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna say for clean A, just do uh, A full. A full, yeah. All right. So we've got our Marines coming in, and. Uh, Okay, uh, and here you go, Jay. So it says here, setting up the board, take six doors and place them on the outermost half squares of the first board section. This means that there will be four doors at the edge of the board and two in between the first board section and the Space Marine entry point. Okay. That's what I want to know. Chunky Monkey. Oh, yeah, boy. Chunky Monkey officially subscribed. Thank you, Chunky Monkey. All right. So now that we have all of the board set up, let's do it. Actions. During a battle, you take turns with one player moving all his models and making the attack he wants to, and then the other player moving and attacking with his models. Unless you're fighting in an ambush, the Space Marine player always takes the first turn. So you're taking the first turn. Okay, before taking your turn, remove any Overwatch counters from previous turns. Mm -hmm. Um, And in your turn, all models will take one action, which could be moving, shooting, making a number of close combat attacks. But at the start of your turn, roll a d12. Let's go ahead and roll a d12. Hold on. Before you roll, let me see if I can grab, uh, grab the, this the on head. camera. Go ahead and do b. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Nine. 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 You get two extra actions this nice. turn, you bastard. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Uh, let's go uh, A, B. A, B. A, B. Thank you, sir. Okay, now, depending on what models are fighting, you may get a bonus for one extra action. Okay, taking actions. Uh, opening a door is uh, one, uh, what was it? It was a movement to open a door. Advance, move a model a number it's one action to move a uh, to open a door. Is it? Where oh, y'all missed the dice roller. Yes, this is the new dice roller, y'all. I thought I heard you read that three actions. Nope, no, where is it? When a model can react. Nope, nope, nope. Move a model number of squares equal to its speed. Its speed is going to be um, what? What's five. the speed of? So scouts are five. Minus the heavy uh, heavy weapon, and regular sp- space marines are four. Okay, it costs one to open a door. One movement. One movement to open a door. Okay. So who's going in first? We well, gotta have the sergeant lead the way. Who's your sergeant? Sar that sergeant is uh, Phoenix. No. Nope. Yeah, I was saying no, uh, I mean, to Patrick. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix. Okay. Phoenix. Oh, uh, okay. So Phoenix so has five movement points. One to open, open the, door. the door. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. Uh, and then go ahead and keep moving with the rest of your peeps. Who's going in next? We'll send in dogs. Dogs. One, two, three, four. Can you go diagonal? Uh, yeah. Party. Mm-hmm. Four. One, All two, right, three, hold on. four, Let me see five. If we can do diagonal. Uh, rear, front, side fa- facing is important. Uh, when you move, you can freely change your facing. So, so as long as you're moving, you're, you're doing that. That's fine. Um, you can. Oh, so now movement is a little more restrictive. You can move the model backwards or sideways one square at a cost of two squares movement. So you can't. So you can't do the uh, okay, so uh, diagonals. Diagonal. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, and then same thing, same thing, same thing. All right, that's their one action. Let's go a close. All right. All right, then uh, Space Marines, the sergeant will go first. One, two, three, because four was opening the door. I'll go with this, the rocket launcher guy. And then everybody else is piled in right behind them. Now, I've got the two extra actions from the roll. I can use one. I will use one for the tactical squad's sergeant. One, two, three, four. Open that door. Okay, you're going to open the door, uh, but I think you need to be able to move in to, you're just opening the door to look. Yeah. And you have any movement left? No. I don't think that that's going to do anything. Let me double check. Okay. Whenever a model opens or destroys a door that leads to an unexplored area, if you're the Tyranid player, you need to check your hidden setup to see if there's a hidden setup tile. If there is, place the corresponding board section there immediately. Okay, it does happen. So you just opened the door to... Um... Nothing. <laughs> so this is, uh, there's no tile there. It's empty. Empty. Cool. It's a big slithering tentacle. All right. And then with my. That blocks your path. Other action. I will. Uh, I will overwatch. Right. With who? Overwatch with uh, my. Yeah. If you have an action left, you can go on overwatch. With my uh, missile launcher guy, who is Tronza. Tronza is my missile launcher guy. Okay, you're uh, readying a weapon, entering Overwatch. Do you? Uh, did you get the token? Yeah, there's one the of token. Those, yeah, right here. Okay, that's it. That's it for your turn. For my one action. Yeah, you you've used all your actions. I thought you it was even used your additional actions. What um, what did I hear about? Is it is it always just one action, or is it just this first turn? It's always one action, and then if you get any additional actions, and you can have them. Certain special characters might have more than one action, okay. but none of yours do. Are you done? Yep. Yep. Okay, my turn. Let's see what the uh, Tyranid player does. No. So I don't think blips can come to you. I think you have to show the boards that have blips on it first. Moving blips. Hmm. 
Once we figure this out, we'll know how to do it. Uh, if a tier 9 warrior moves. Okay, yeah, they're revealed when you first open the door. Yeah, so there's no blips here. Um, okay, so cool. my I guess my turn is over, but I'm going to see if there's a an aspect to my turn where I call in reinforcements, because I think after I move, I can call reinforcements. Turn the board section. Yeah, each turn you'll get to randomly draw extra blips from the reinforcement pool to represent Tyranid warriors waking from hibernation as the assault is mm. underway. The number of blips you can draw is determined by the size of the game you're playing. Uh, there are more hibernating Tyranids on larger ships. Okay. Okay, roll. On the D12. Any blips you receive as reinforcements must be placed in the hive box and can't be moved until next turn. That seems like it's outside of the battle. Once you place your reinforcement yeah. blips, you go on to the next turn, I guess, starting with the Space Marine deployment. Yeah, that seems... Let me see if there's anything in the actual battle. What happens in the battle? Available forces. Space Marines, you start with only your recon squad. During the battle, you may be able to bring reinforcements from your assault force. See ambushes and encounters. Oh, so you only start with your recon squad. So pull all your Marines off. No, because it said you take your ass assault when you read the card, right? It said the also the assault. That's why you pushed it up. Yeah, but I think that you don't start with those. You start with your recon squad, right, plus your assault force. Place the models on the space. Okay, yeah, so that's for just random. Yeah. That's for an ambush. This is for primary. Got it. Okay, moving on. All right, I think we're done. <laughs> but what's this this old ass uh, rule book? You know, it's yeah. all it's all you know. In everything is laid out across quite a bit of stuff. Or uh, ending battles. As far as I can tell, and if this is true. I don't like it. Where go? Go ahead and get us both on here. Okay. Uh, sorry. sorry. That one or discussion? Uh, let's go. Uh, a cam over. A cam over. A cam over. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no reinforcements from the Tyranid player. What I have is what I got. Unless you roll it. Right. Where, where, if, let's say I did roll it and I get more. Where do they go? On on that board right there. On my right. board? Yeah. It says they would go on that board and they can't go into the certain spots until the next turn or something like that. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out. I, they never l nicely laid out the turns. Yeah, there's no like is real this turn, a turn summary. Is this type a thing? turn within a turn? Because now we're in the battle mode. Yeah. It's All right, we're gonna have to go. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to go a PC screen.
They can decide to do this whenever they move into a space. They may immediately move to up to one space, and is exclusive to Tyranids. If a Tyranid is on a teleport assist, it can spend an action to leave the board. Handy if the combat is going badly and the Tyranids decide to cut their losses. All the Tyranids are wiped out or withdraw from battle. All the Tyranids are wiped out. They can practice. If they want to make any other kind of reaction, they lose their Overwatch status. If they want to make further actions after that, they can, but they will have to roll for the reactions as normal. So, battles will continue in this way, with each side taking a turn while their opponents react, until one side has no units on the board. If all the Tyranids are wiped out or withdraw from battle by teleport... Yeah, that's what it is. Alright, let's just play it out the way that we think it's played out. Uh, go to A, A over. Alright. So your turn is done. Uh, now it's my turn where okay. I move all the blips. And I can't really move any blips, and there's since there's no blips on the board, it's back to you. Okay. Now, do we go back to th that? No. Or do we go to here? No, this is on the camp. We're, we're, we're in the battle right now. We need to complete the battle first. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. During a battle, you take turns. With one player moving all of his models and making all the attacks he wants to, and then the the other player moving into tech and with his models. Yeah. On your turn, each of your models can take one action. Okay. Uh, you only get a limited number of these extra actions during a turn. At the start of your turn, roll a d12 to see how many extra actions you get. So go ahead and do that. This is from your sergeant. You got a seven. 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 So, yeah, give me a B cam, actually, from now on, because that will show the die tower. Seven, you get one extra action this time. Last right. time you got two extra actions. So go ahead and go. All right, we need to get these guys in there a little bit more. So this is a dead end. I wish they had, like, dead end tiles. That would be yeah. helpful. This is um, a 34-year-old game, two, Jay. <laughs> three, four, four, and I stopped there. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, Stop at the four, vagina door. Four, four, four. Let's go to this door. One, two. Oh, shit. He opened it. Let's see. That is a uh, tile. So we'll move it this way because that was the dead end. Mm -hmm. And then that is going to be this tile right here. Where's my pile of right tile? There. And this is set up. I don't know if you can see it, but Jolly, you're this guy right here. You're one of the regular troopers. In Squad C, I think it was. Yeah, Squad C. Right, where's the door? It was right here. To the side, it's not destroyed, it's still there. All right. Hold on, let me see if there's anything in here. There is. There is one blip and one cyst. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't really know. Let's see how to set these up. Good question. Placing blips on the board. As a Tyranid player, whenever you place a new board, check the corresponding hit up to see if there's blips on it. If there are, take all the blips from the tile and place them on the new board section. The exact position of the blips when they are replaced is affected on whether the Tyranids are surprised by the Space Marines. Work out who has the advantage of the surprise. Both players roll D12. I rolled a 6. You rolled a 5. So I win. Uh, the tier, if there's a tie, the Tyranids have surprised the Space Marines. So the Tyranids win. The player who rolled highest places all the blips on the new board section. So I get to place. Each blip is placed within its own square. Okay. Once all blips are placed. I need a battery. Battery. Well, then I'm going to place a blip right here in front of you if I can. Yeah. Let me see if where I set up the cysts. I think that's anywhere. Yeah, the battery for that. I was looking for teleporter. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, these need doors, too. All right, it says to sit, set up anywhere except for the Space Marine entry point in the board section. Okay, let's do assist here. Okay. Like a model, it can be placed on a square containing a closed door, an object marker, a wall, or another model. Once all the blips are placed, the other player can move each blip up to one square. So you can move my blip up to one square. This stops either side gaining an overwhelming advantage due to a luck of a single die roll. The Tyranid, model, the Tyranid player always has the option of placing models on the board instead of blips. Simply check what the blip represents and place that model on the newly discovered board section instead of the blip. Rules for surprise still s apply. Okay. Converting blips into models. I'm going to see what it is. I'm going to choose to do it. I'm going to place the models instead of the blip. There are two ways in which a blip can be converted into a model. Either because the Tyranid player chooses to replace the blip with its model, or because a Space Marine can see can directly see what the blip is and no longer has to rely on the... Yeah. Uh, so, all right, so let's see what it is. That is B. B is a Tyranid warrior with a bone sword. Cool. Oh, shit. Big boy. Who's that sergeant? <laughs> that is <laughs> my Phoenix. Phoenix. Sergeant Phoenix. You got heat. <clears throat> you got you got big heat. Okay. Uh, remove the blip from the board. Place the model in the same square. The Tyranid players chooses which way the model's facing. Blips that represent more than one model. When the blip is converted, place the model so that the first one is on the square, and all others are placed on empty adjacent squares. Okay. Uh, but that's... That's what I got. Okay. However, uh, you did that on your turn. Yeah. So I don't think – I don't get to do jack shit except for reactions, mm -hmm. which this game has, unfortunately, a complex reaction system. It's what slows down this game. It's a 34-year-old game system. So reactions, as far as we read – and it, we can react to pretty much anything happening. So, like, he does something, I'm going to react to it immediately. <laughs> so, let's see what... And there can uh, be, like six, roll, like, six rolls, you know, like, for every Oh, movement. I could fail a reaction yeah, roll. So, move. there is a roll associated yeah. with it. Roll after roll. All right. So, uh, Jay, you open the door for one movement point. Uh, uh, what else would that, you... That, that's my action is moving. Yeah. So, probably move out of the way, run, run away like a coward. Uh, it is the sergeant, so you might want to. I might want to keep him alive. Mm -hmm. But so I was that Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. I could stop right there and use my extra action, right? You could, yeah. To yeah, shoot, start letting Phoenix un unleash. Yep. Okay. Well, let's see how the shooting goes. So you want to do that? There? Yeah. So it's one D okay. plus three. So one D twelve. And then I add three to it. Um, and if I beat your, was it armor, I think? Yeah. If I beat your armor, then I, I destroy you. Yeah. So, uh, Space Marine Scout, you're doing a sergeant? Yep. And you're firing a? Uh, chain or bolt pistol? Bolt pistol, yep. Range, eight spaces. You are within range. That's snap fire. Oh, okay, 16. Uh, aim, aim, aim fire is... Yeah, aim fire. Yeah. yeah. So 16 spaces, you're yeah. definitely within range. One dice plus three. Correct. So here we go. You rolled an eight. Plus three? Mm -hmm. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you rolled an eleven. Yeah. Um, what is your... Tyranid Warrior armor. is exactly eleven. Oh, so I killed it. Let's see. 
If the role is less than or equal to the uh, react characteristic, firing through portals, portals count. Uh, hold on. Uh, object armor rating. Mm -hmm. Reinforcements. I think you are correct. Uh, that was very. That's a very fast and clean system yeah. that we're used to. Let me make sure that, that we we're did not that used right. to. Actually, we're not used <laughs> to. Um, how to shoot? Right. Roll the number shown. You only needed one. You got it. If any of the modified are higher to, or equal or higher than the target's armor, you have hit and killed the mar model. <laughs> Well, I think uh, I think he just got lucky, and he yeah. definitely killed the Tyranid warrior, from what I understand. And then what happens is you roll again because you need to check your ammo. Ah, okay. And let's see if, if I get a ammo, one. Ro um, if you roll a one, you're out of ammo. Yeah, no, I'm rolled a five. five. Okay. I'm good. Huh. <laughs> well, I, I feel uh. <laughs> I feel like shit because it's like. I only have three blips here, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he just immediately tore through one easily. <laughs> okay. The, I mean, this the, is a campaign it game is. where it's supposed this to be multiple. This is supposed to be long, multiple. and it seems like this is not even just just us going back and forth. This is like not even the top of it, and we've got all that stuff to go through. Yes, correct. That's it's what it like, seems like. Oh man, it's it's. Very Thirty-four year old game design. Daunting. Daunting. We're starting to see what it's like, and and we're starting to see how Space Hulk has evolved this system. Yeah, from this because yeah. it used to be Space Crusade, then Advanced Space Crusade, and then Space right. Hulk. So we'll see. And and this it does, one was for the hardcore nerds. It does say on the box, three D role role play hobby game. Three mm -hmm. D role play hobby. Three D role play hobby, which game. is a category unto itself. Yeah. So. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right, so that was his Damn, actions. Damn, Phoenix kicked ass. He <laughs> yeah, said, sit right. your ass down. Now, can I go through, guys? Can you pass through, guys? Or do you have to wait? Um, I don't know. I'll read. You can't move a model into a square that contains a wall, door, or objective marker. Other models. A model can move through a square that contains okay. another model, but it may not end its move in that square. Okay. Cool. One, two, three, four, Position and five. Secure. One, yeah, there you go. Position two, is secure. <laughs> Fast. <three. laughs> One, two, three, Hate four. You. I'll five it with that one. Aha, uh -huh. let's see. So you've opened. Uh, okay, there's a good one from me. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Maybe the Tyranids can turn things around here. Uh, yeah. No, that's not open yet. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sorry. There you go. And you can give me some doors. I need four doors. There you go. One more door. Okay, this has two blips. Oh, so that means everything else is clear. Fuck you, Jay. <laughs> you just said it. How am I supposed to? How do you know that? Because you told me. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. Okay. And where else should I put this one? Put it right in front of me again. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try to get you right off the bat. So your sergeant got lucky. I don't think this guy's getting lucky. Who is this guy? That guy is Khan. Khan. Yeah. Okay. Khan. 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 Yeah. All right. So, but Jaw's going to come pack, back him up. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're done. Yeah. Now the Space Marines. Roger. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
so I can see that. So you can he, say this one. Yeah, you certainly can. This is a O. What the fuck is an O? The O is a grabber slasher. The little gross hand thing. Uh. He's. I think he's a little piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's very good. All but right. it's two. That's two of them, yeah. 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 Oh, that's a little daunting. So, um, what was that? Four. Yeah, because they only move at four. So I need to get these guys up. One, two, three. I don't know if I want to move him up there. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Cool. That's my turn. Oh, hey, I actually get to do something yes. this time. All right. Well, this feels good. Um, all right. Well, let's see what the hell these grabber slashers can do. Um, and let me see what the hell this is secretly. Ooh. Ooh. It's about to go down. I it's like about- that. Oh, shit. I like that very much. <laughs> Cackles, evil yeah. cackles. Yeah, evil cackles, yeah. Evil cackles. Maniacal laugh. I am going to reveal what this is. It is a C. Ooh. Another one of these guys? And C, yeah, A, B, C are my bone swords. Bone swords is coming. One. Reaction. Hold on. Two. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about reaction. So as soon as you step out, okay. I'm going to take a reaction. Whoa. So, that is my tactical squad. That's Blizzard. And he's, he has a bolter. With a snap fire, he has a 10 plus, or 1D plus 1. All right. Let's see your roll, sir. You got a? 10, 9, 10. Ugh, one off. One off. Right? Because that's yep. 11, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so that was a yep. reaction. If exactly. a model uh, can react, if an enemy model does anything in its line of sight, yep. uh, including moving a square, turning, taking a shot, making a close combat attack, opening a door. So here's how the system works. I go another one. Reaction. Jay, <laughs> oh, hold on, Jay. You need to roll a die and uh, for ammo. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll a die for the ammo. Ammo. Uh, good. You are good on ammo. And then, uh, yeah, see if you can shoot me uh, again. What do you need again? I need... Uh, uh, not 10, right? Yeah, at yeah. least a 10. You nope. got a 3. He nope. missed. Uh, oh, wait. We need to be rolling to see if you even get the reaction. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Let me see. So... So it's a D12. What is your... Rea- uh, what is it called? Reaction? Yeah, reaction. It's called... Uh, what do you have? It's called reaction. It's, cl- it's a 10. So you need to be rolling a 10 to even get the 10 to or reaction. below. 10 or below. Right. Okay. To get the reaction. All right. Well, you, let's just say you missed that one. Yeah. And then here, so now, now you're trying to react. Right. I'm trying to react. I need a 10 or below. I you do You did get it. Okay. And now you are firing. Yeah. I need a 10 or above. 10. You? <laughs> you are you kidding me? <laughs> pa, 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 pa. We don't even get to see what these pa, pa, pa. fucking warriors do. You're just getting lucky. Yeah. Oh, no wonder, you know, 34 years later, they put in yeah. some something that I can do, like an armor <laughs> save, so I feel involved. Damn, that was my best chance. Let's pretend, just because I want to see what yeah, happens. Just, Let's see pretend what happens, yeah. that um, I attack you. Okay. Now, Jay can actually declare another reaction, but yeah. it has to happen after my turn. Let's see if you are able to react. All right. So after I slash you, you yep, can, can react. Yeah. But let me slash you first. So a okay. Tyranid Force, a Tyranid Warrior with two bone swords gets three dice wow. plus six. Give me those two greens. Here's what it would have been. And again, when you're rolling three dice, it doesn't mean you take all three. You take the best one. Correct. So I rolled a one, a seven, and a four. And so I would take the seven plus six. Seven plus six is 13. That definitely is enough to. Yeah, because my armor is nine. So it would have killed him. 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, killing these bone swords is such a huge, huge thing. Yeah. So nice job, Jay. You killed two bone swords right off the bat. Now I haul, all I have are these shitty little men left. Okay. So let's all go right. over here. All right. So we're going to try to react with the scouts. Now the scouts... Their reaction is an eight or less because they're not the sergeant. Seven. He rolled a seven. seven. He's good. Seven. He reacts? His reaction snap fire is 1D plus one. Ten plus one, eleven. That definitely will kill him. Uh, let's see. The grabber slasher needs a... What's the armor? Six. Pooh. These are easy. They're not even going to stand a chance. All right. Because I got to go this. Let's see if I get my reaction. Under. Yep. Three. Good. I need to roll a five, six. Yep. Six. Got it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know how the turn is. They're supposed to, supposed to win this. Okay. And this is a uh, main objective. So you just tore through it. Now... Actually, I think the battle is over because you've killed all my blips. Oh, that's right. So let me look at ending battles. All right. <clears throat> at, the s at the end of a battle, either the Space Marines have captured or successfully destroyed their objective, or the Tyranids have successfully defended the area by wiping out Space Marines or forcing them to withdraw. A battle ends in one of two ways. A battle ends when there are no Space Marine models on any board section at the end of a Space Marine turn. If the Space Marines withdraw, they can continue capturing on the next turn. Or a battle ends when there's no Tyranid or Mind Slave models or blips on any board section at the end of a Tyranid turn. If there are no blips left on the hidden setup map and there are no teleporter sifts, cysts left on the board or the hidden setup map, this means the Space Marines have captured their objective. Hey. Wait a minute. There is a cyst left. Oh, yeah, because you can teleport in. Oh. Mm. So you still have a chance to teleport reinforcements yeah. in. Right. right. Yes. So when I'm so that turn thing is a thing. So I do get a reinforcement that I did not get last time. So give me a D12. Mm. Uh So we're going to roll to see whether at the end of my Tyranid turn I get reinforcements. So that's what makes it a little bit more uh, even. I get a 7, which is 1 reinforcement. But it starts out in the hive. Right. So 1 reinforcement, which is pulled from the bag, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, I think that's what... Okay. What you had said earlier. Now, uh, okay, I, I, I think uh, I think it's starting to make more sense to me now, now that we've played through it once. Yeah. Now let's uh, teleport a, uh, a uh, blip into a cyst. Teleporter assist. Okay, teleporting onto the board. In battles for primary and secondary objectives, as the Tyranid player, you're able to teleport Tyranid blips onto the board as reinforcements. You can teleport a Tyranid blip from anywhere on the Hive network, except from ambush boxes. Teleporting a blip costs two extra actions, so you should discard two extra action counters, and you can teleport blips into cysts. So first things first, on the beginning of each one of my turns, I've been forgetting to get my yeah. extra actions. Yeah. I got a nine, which, what was that? I nine two. is two extra actions. So I'll go ahead and turn in those two extra actions to get one teleportation. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to do jack fucking shit, but I'm I'm going to see if I can't kill at least one Marine, please. <laughs> um, Jay laughing his ass off. Okay. I see how it is, Jay. What? You know what? I'm going to uh, bring the heat then on bring this. It. Bring it. Bring the fucking heat. Bring that zone so I can shoot it with a scout. 
You think I oh, he, he called what I was bringing? <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, All right, Jay. Yeah, yeah. He's 3D. So intelligent. He's playing 3D, 3D chess. chess. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna bring something else. Be. Oh no, I can't. I was gonna try to bring in the mind slaves, mm -hmm. but they can't go through the orifices. Oh yeah, they can't because they just get fucking killed by the yeah, um. They just eat, the, eat the them. cyst. They eat them. So, um, fuck you, Jay. I'm bringing the zote, <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, G. Where my G? Where my G at? Oh, is G the one that? Yeah, I think the G is the one that that's missing. Okay, yeah, G's the one that's missing. So I'm bringing in the Zote. Cool. Um, and the Zote has one action. So he comes to the cyst. And give me a close-up on that. Just go A close for now. Good stuff. Angry Joe is fucking pissed because Jay is just steamrolling my tyranids in my gross mucus ship. <laughs> so I get one action. I have one action left. And I will charge. A charge is dashed forward either to cover as much ground as possible or to join combat with an enemy. So how fast is the Zote? The Zote is five. So we'll go one, two. Reaction. Right yeah, there. you could do a reaction. So let me see if I can do it, which is uh, eight or less. Is that right? Yes, eight or less. Seven. Yes, I can. Uh, Snapfire, 1D plus one. What's the Zote's armor? Uh, Zote is the highest armor in the game. Like 12. 12. Ugh, it's going to be hard. Uh, three. No, that does not do it. Ping! And if uh, Patrick is here, not in the bathroom, he would have gone ping. Yep. Okay. Um, Taking the next one to do a close combat attack. Let's see what the Zote does. The Zote rolls. Well, you have to move first, right? No. To get I'm, in front of me? No, I'm actually taking the action. No, I don't need to get in front of you. It's my no? three spaces in front of me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, right. That's, right. That's right. So I roll 1D. Wait, that would be your second action. Seven. One dice plus seven. It's not a second action. When you take a charge, it just oh. costs one movement okay. to do the I attack. Thought you were, I thought you were just moving. I'm sorry. Got it. I rolled a... One. Ah! <laughs> one plus seven, though. Okay. Is eight. What's your Space Marine armor? It is nine. No, no, no. Eight. It is eight. Ah! <laughs> so a Zolt can crush a Space Marine very easily. Oh, shit. All right. One Space Marine dead. Who was that? Is that the sergeant? Uh, no. That was... You got to kill somebody in chat. Yep, it is... Dogs. 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 Two, eight. Two, or two, zero, one, eight, or something. Is Dogs 2018 still here? He or just, one, five, two, zero, he just one, five. died in a glorious uh, shower of blood. You like dogs? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you like dogs? The yeah. Zote did not like dogs. All right, that's the end of my turn. So it is uh, goes to Jay now. All right. All right, we're starting to get the game a little, little more. So I guess dogs and no. <laughs> but you know what? It's always an honor to die first. At yeah. least you got to see yeah. see it. You died gloriously. He in did. The battle. Could you imagine how I, how wide his eyes got when he saw this <laughs> zote charging down, for some reason with blood bowl <laughs> armor on him. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'll let's see how many extra actions I get. Oh. What's a seven? A seven is one, one. extra action. Okay, I'll take Five it. through eight. Well, I'll take that. Uh, next, I can... He died for the emperor. Did uh, Does the Zote have wep uh, anything other than close combat weapons? Um, no. So he doesn't have no, no he, shooty, his, shooty? His, oh, no, he does. He's got a flesh borer. Flesh borer. Mm. It is not very good. It's one dice plus two. Now, can I shoot through my own guys? 
Uh, good question. I don't think so, but we'll double check. Shooting. So you need line of sight. Uh, line of sight indicates whether a model can see. A model can see for an unlimited distance, provide there is nothing blocking its line of sight. Okay. If this line of sight crosses a square containing another model, wall, door, or objective marker, the line of sight is blocked and you cannot shoot. Okay. Now, can Teleporter I... Teleporter do not block line of sight. Can I shoot... Can I shoot it from where my... F this guy is. Can I shoot him? From... No. Are you talking about the sergeant? No, this guy. Oh, yeah. That... That, I believe you can. Because it's the blocks. It goes by the blocks, right? Oh, good question. So, let's check this. Um, he's in the... He's in the hallway. Mm. It would be nice if, you know, you draw a line. So if we were drawing from the center of that square to the center of my square, it wouldn't be able to. But right. if it's drawing a line from anywhere in your square to anywhere in my square, it would. Right. Look hmm. at that, how to shoot. If a line, to check line of sight, place a ruler from the center of the shooting model square to the center of the target model square. Yeah. No. I don't think so. Yeah, it's going to clip the wall. Yeah. So I got lucky. Super lucky. You're going to have to walk in front of me. Yeah, right. And, and, and <laughs> shoot. <laughs> All right. So let's start with the sergeant. Uh, Zombie game, no running tree. Thank you one, so much, two. Joey. Thank you, man. Running tree, one. good to see you. Thank you so much. One. Are these guys one, running? Two, what three, the? four. Cowards. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Cowards. Let's see who the coward now. <laughs> um. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right. Okay, so the Marines are marching their way down the hallway in this area while the scouts are trying to set up a defensive perimeter for an incoming Zote. Very intelligent, very intelligent. Are you done? I am done. Okay, the Tyranids are going to roll for reinforcements. Oops. Uh, six. Six, okay. Uh, what is that? Probably nothing. Uh, let me turn my... Ex six is... Let me turn my extra action in for uh, um, Overwatch. A raid. It is one. I do get one. I am interested in Underworlds. I have a few Underworlds painted sets. It's really the only one that I can get my girlfriend to play, m play with me on. So in the future, you might see her play with me uh, some Underworlds. Uh, but first, got to get the set painted. Okay. So uh, if you didn't catch that, I got one reinforcement blip token, which I put in the hive area. Um, but now I get uh, to roll for actions. Yeah, extra actions. Now, what I want here is I need two, need two actions right. because in order to spawn from the teleporter cyst, you need to turn in two actions. Uh, the only way I'm going to get two actions is if I roll a 9 through 12. Mm. Fuck. Wait a minute. How can that be? Because the this shit goes to 13, 16, 17 plus. Well, if there's any... Depending on what models yeah. are fighting in this battle, you may get a bonus to your extra actions. Ah, I think the Space Marine gets... Yep. Yeah. Jay, you've been getting a bonus of plus two to your roll for each Space Marine Sergeant in play. Oh. So you would have been like plus four plus every four time. Plus four every time. That's all right. Okay. Okay. Tyranid player receives a negative two if the Space Marines have captured or destroyed a hive mind synapse. That is not a thing. Okay. Let's see if I can get 
Well, I did. Hey. Nice. So I'm turning in my two actions to teleport another uh, badass into battle. Mm, and that cyst is far away. He's running away from it. So maybe now we need some shooters. Yeah, let's get some shooters up in here. Up in here. <clears throat> oh, well, I guess I shouldn't have said anything because it's just a blip. <laughs> well, I mean, you can reveal it now if you want to. <laughs> no, I, no, I don't have to reveal it, so I know. You don't have to, yeah, no. Okay, um, now, taking an action with this guy. The Zote has a value movement of five. One. All right. Reaction. Two. Hold on. Go oh, back. one. Reaction. From who? So from a sergeant first. We'll do that one first. And then from then from the... Close in, please. Yep. So sergeant hey, first. Hey, Cam. Okay. Sergeant first. His reaction is 10 or less. Good. His snap fire is 1d10 plus 1. So he needs 11. Miss. Oh, no, missed. All right, push me forward one. Oh, wait, no. I got my this other guy to react first. I'm sorry. Who was the first guy to react? So he's that reacting. That guy cannot draw a line of sight from think my so? center to your center. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think you're clipping that edge right there. Right, let's take him off. Let's, uh, this is what? Uh, well, well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's clipping that edge right there. Yeah. This is what we bought the laser pointer for for these <laughs> older games. <laughs> and the next one he'll be able to. But, okay, so. Push me forward one then. Wait, I still have. That was Noel, but this I still have this guy. The heavy bolter guy. So the heavy bolter guy. His is eight or less, eight or less reaction. Eight. Got it. Now his... Dr. Vano, thank you for subscribing. 52 months. That was two minutes ago. Nikki D, 10, four minutes ago. Thank you all for your his, subscriptions. I must have missed it. His Snapfire is 2D plus 2. So there's 12 right there. 12 is enough to kill the Zot. So the motherfucking heavy bolter down there, which... Thank you, uh, fucking uh, <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> I think that's bullshit, Jay, because your fucking first roll uh, failed. And then if, if your first roll failed, it would have been the heavy bolter that failed. But you got a free roll. <laughs> um, no. Yeah. You well, did. I mean, I would have had two dice. You would have had two dice. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay. Uh, well, then my guy is dead, and I cannot continue to advance towards you, which I don't know if I would have been able to make it anyway. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I could hit him with five. It would have been my last action. Okay. Uh, let's move the blip, and let's okay. see... No, I'm not going to move the blip. Okay. Wait, maybe I might. Let me check one more time. I'm going to move the blip. Cool. And... No, that wouldn't be... That wouldn't be too bright. I'm not going to move the blip. <laughs> Blip stays. <laughs> the blip stays. Go ahead, Jay. All right, let's see uh, if I get my extra actions. So it's a six plus four. That's ten, right? Yeah, and ten was nine through twelve. You get two extra, two extra actions. So let's put these right here. All right, Jake. All righty. 
Only one blip on the board, my friend. All right. So Should be a pretty easy one, mission. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. I'm going to use another ec uh, an extra action yep. to charge. Oh, going in close one, combat. One, two, and then charge. Whatever <laughs> it is. It is a Tyranid warrior with a gun. So maybe good choice since I don't have bone swords. Let's see what this sergeant has in him. Sergeant Phoenix. Yep, that's Sergeant Phoenix. Oh, man, he's a badass. He is. He's been <coughs> killing shit all, all day. Yeah, he's been blasting away. Anyway, so I started blasting. Let's see it. Right. Or no, chainsaw. This is close combat. Yeah. That's right. So. so he has 2D plus 3. For his chainsaw? For his chain, yeah, chainsaw. Okay. Uh, you need 11, sir. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Aha. What? So did you get any of them? Yeah. You did? Yeah. You killed it? Yeah. Okay, guess what? You didn't kill it because now I get to do reactions. Okay. So the second you walked into that, I'm going to react, okay. and I'm going to fire uh, with the death spitter is what it's called. Um, and it is a uh, snap fire because it's a right. reaction. 1D plus 5. 1D plus 5. Golly. 1D plus 5. And oh, I rolled nice. 11. a 11 plus 5 is a 16. So you are showered with acid. The death spitter. Of survival. The death spitter attacks target squares. Uh, with a to-hit roll of 1D plus 5, two blobs of caustic protoplasm scatter randomly to adjacent squares also and attack with hit rolls of one. Well, there's nobody next to him, so it doesn't ma matter. But two adjacent random squares with hit rolls of a one dice, no bonus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that guy fucking melts. <laughs> Phoenix melted when yep. he rounded that corner. Didn't even get to swing with his chainsaw. All right, so next. Still your turn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Still learning where they're all at. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any nid uh, sounds. Close I out. Mean, I, you got to make your own turn. Close out. Oh, so, all right. So, uh, 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 sorry. There you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> four. What the hell are you doing? Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The tactical squad is making its way down here. One, two, three, four. All right. I'm done. Cool. Uh, I'm going to, you know, leave this on Overwatch. At first, it was kind of slow going, and yeah. I was about, I was like wavering on whether I liked it or not. Now it's picking back up yeah. now that we figured it out. Yeah, there's yeah. some. I like it. It's even for 34 battles. years, it's still pretty fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? I'm oh, done. that's I'm all done. your guys. Yeah. And then roll for reinforcements. I think I need no. a 10, 3. That's nothing. And um, so no reinforcements. Now it's my turn. I need to roll to see for extra actions. Extra actions is 5. five. Mm, I don't think. 1 through 4 is 0. 5 through 8 is 1 extra action. So Now, curious... Can you stack these up? Because remember, I need two to spawn yeah. something in. Otherwise, I only have one bad guy. I don't know. That's I don't know. Question. I'll look it up. But for now, let's see. What do you think, Patrick? Should I go mano y mano? I shoot you, you shoot me kind of thing? Because he's got a, a heavy bolter right here. My heavy bolter versus his heavy bolter versus my death spitter. You got to get someone off the board. Yeah. Have you gotten anybody let's off the board yet? I, I killed Phoenix. Phoenix, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, right. he, he, he just kills right. 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 two. Oh, I kill Phoenix and dogs. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna go one, two. But then when I come into yeah. his range, he's gonna react. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna do the Overwatch. You are on Overwatch. You so you put a token there. You son <laughs> of a bitch. Kill him! Kill him all! Now with the Overwatch, you can do an aim fire. Right. Correct. So the You're, aim fire mm -hmm. is is Don't make me find this before 2D you 2D plus 3. <laughs> yep. Terminator Sergeant? No. 
No, it's the heavy bolter. Scout. Heavy bolter. Oh, scout. Yeah. 2D plus 3. Go, sir. Here we go. You need an 11. So a 9 plus 3 is 11. A 9 plus Ooh. 3 is That's 11. 12, he nine, rolled a 9. 10, 11, 12. What was the That's other one 12. you rolled? 12 and an SO4. You rolled a 4, so yeah. that gun wouldn't have done it, but the 9 does it. Yeah, the 9 does it. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. Because I would have used my extra action to then fire yeah, back yeah. at you. Yeah. Let's just see if I could have done it. What what was it again? It was... It was something ridiculous. Like Death Spitter. Was it three? three? No, it was just one dice plus 5. Oh, one dice plus 5, yeah. yeah that would have done it. 9 plus 5, I would have melted him. Yeah. Yeah, but you got me first. Overwatch goes away. Okay. Well, um, the cysts are still active, so you don't automatically win. No. And I'd, have to, I'd have to get to it, right? We need to see whether we can carry over at actions. I don't think so. Sounds weird. Take one extra action counter for each extra action you've rolled on the table and keep them to one side for the moment. These will act both as a record of how many extra actions you've used. Extra action means a model can take a second action. Models can do this as soon as it's finished its first action. No model can take more than two in a turn. Two actions or two extra actions? No model can take more than two actions in a turn. Okay. Aha. Uh, let's see. Um, when a model has finished its extra action, place the extra action next to the model. This means you'll be able to keep track of it. You can't use extra actions in your opponent's turns or you saved up from turn to turn. So action, so any actions that Go haven't away. been used at the end are lost. Okay. So no, I can't. I have to roll at least a 9 through a 12 to get to teleporting somebody yeah. on the board. How do I kill this this thing? You shoot it or cut it. Oh, okay. It has a um, an armor of 12. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, let's go kill it. So let me see my extra, if I get my extra actions, and that's only plus two this time, which is plenty for two extra actions. Well, hold on, don't I need a reinforcement? Is that the end, at the end of your turn? Did you get it, the reinforcement? Yeah. Okay, yeah, do that. Each turn you'll get a chance to randomly draw extra blips from the reinforcement pool to represent Tyranid Warriors waking from hibernation. Um, Ten. Ooh. Two tokens. Nice. Jay, you better complete this quick. Yeah, I know. It's about to get crazy. So, one, two, three, four. Five, extra action, charge, one, two, three. Okay, you're, you're trying to hit a 12, my friend, to kill the cyst. Yep, so 2D plus there two is, yeah. for a close combat. Got it, 12. You, what would you roll? <laughs> a 12 and an eight. Nice. For every plus one of us two. Who falls, ten more will take his place. <laughs> Okay, oh, well, nice. normally that would win you, but <laughs> there is one cyst left on the map that you have not found. Cool. All right, so let me finish out my turn then. So he's done. He did his ac ac the extra action. Uh, we'll open this door with one. Congratulations, Jay. You have found the objective room. Oh, no. The, what was it? The fucking cortex synaptic uh, tentacle taint butthole. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> the gooch. All of the, 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 taint, gooch. You found the gooch. It there? was the energy cortex. Energy gooch. Uh, energy. The gooch. Energy gooch. gooch. Energy gooch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it is right here. 
Uh, energy cortex located on bor board section. Okay. Force. Is this fa? Is it? How how do I know how to put this? Objective markers. Which board you place it on? Yeah. Why not? Why you know draw no hexes on it so I know how it can fit? Tentacles. I, I'm gonna assume that I have to put it in an area that it fits. Cause I. Wait a minute. It could go here. But let me keep reading on this. Mm -hmm. Okay, assault choosing All your right, forces, initial tyranny. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And right there. this is where a cyst is. If that's correct, then I'll just do this. One, two, three, four. And then... So, no, 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 no. So, one, two, three, four. And then attack it with, attack the cyst with combat knife, I, I suppose. You can place the marker any way around, provided it fits neatly into the grid and is only placed over empty squares. You can't place any of the marker over a square that contains a wall, door, or portal. Okay. So, we can go there. All right. So, it's 1D plus 4 to attack with the sergeant. You using a chainsword here? It's uh whatever he has. Let me see what the sergeant has. Yeah, sergeant and chainsword. Go. Okay. There we go. You rolled a two. Two. That, that is not going to do, do it. it. <laughs> All right. So next guy. One, two, three, four. Let's flip them this way. Turn them this way. So he will shoot. Right. Your well, no, he is drawing can't. through he this can't, guy. He can't shoot, right? Because he's moved. Correct, unless you had an extra right. action. I'm not going to use that. But he wouldn't him. have been able to shoot anyway because it goes from center to center. One, two, three, four. Just move all these guys up. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then make a train. Yep. Tactical Marines. And that's it. They found the fucking bastard. All right. Uh, I guess I have oh, one well. chance left. Yeah, let me use my. I'm gonna use my action on my sergeant. Extra action on my sergeant to take another swack at. Do you have an extra action? Yeah, I had two this turn. Okay, but well, no, I used on. one for him. He are, and he then I used one for him. Okay. So right. wait, wait, wait. You used an extra action on him already. On him. Uh huh. And then now I'll use. Now the, you're using. Yeah, it on the him. second okay, one. Go ahead. You rolled a six. 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 Six plus four is ten. ten. I need what? Two 12? short. 12? Yeah, yeah, twelve. Okay, but you're saved because there's no there's no tyranids on the board, and right. in order for me to get a tyranid on the board through the cyst, I need to roll between uh, a nine through a twelve. I think it was. Yeah, to get two actions, right? Nine. Nine. Let me double check. <laughs> Yeah, nine through a twelve. I get two extra actions. I'm gonna turn them in for something big that I can hit Jay. Now, do you get to bring them all in or just the one? Just one. Yeah. So as a revenge, fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna try to kill at least a tactical marine for the future. Cause now I'm just thinking about the future. The future. Um, bone sword. I've got a bone sword guy left. I'm going to go A. Where's my A? Teleporting in A. 
Now, when I hear A, I'm automatically like, oh, camera A. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and because you're right next to me, I'm going to take this, uh, the um, close combat action. You can react after. Mm -hmm. So my first action is to take a swipe at you with my bone swords. And I think this is one of the better attacks in the Tyranids arsenal is two bone swords. It's three dice nice. plus six each. So I think this guy's going down. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, hefty. pretty brutal. Right there. So I got a three, a seven, and a one. Pretty yeah. bad roll. The, but the that, seven will do it. That seven plus. You said six, right? Six. Yeah. That's it's over a nine. That's 13. Even that three would have done it. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> that guy, that bone, the bone fucking swords are amazing. So who just died? Uh, Sergeant that is Sergeant Blizzard. Sergeant Blizzard. Blizzard. Is Blizzard still in chat? Uh, he no. is done. He's done. Dunzo. And that was my one action, so... All right. Your turn. All right, so we're going to shoot you. Cool. Well, let's uh let me move move these guys in first so they can all Oh, well, actually he'll shoot you first. Let's do that. Okay. Let's so see if I can weather one, the storm one here. 1D 1D plus 3. Okay, you're looking for like 11, right? 11. No, nope, that's not gonna do it. So he's. Oh, let me see. Um. Okay, you know what's wild is because you're in my front arc and I have bone swords. I add plus one to my armor value, so now I'm at twelve. Cause the fucking the uh. guy's going <laughs> 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 um. like fucking Deadpool. He's swinging his bone swords around. <laughs> fucking blocking bullets. <laughs> yep. Let me let me roll for my actions too. I forgot to do that. So two plus. Uh, I don't get any. No actions. Two plus two. Yeah. Yes. All Jay right. is running out of steam. His boys are tired. They are. He'll go in for a assault right there. Well, um, hold on. So when you moved him here, uh -huh. I'm going to react. Let's see what my list of reactions are because I don't think they're all just. I can snap fire, close combat attack. I can leap forward. Model leaps forward to close with an attacking enemy or take itself out of an enemy's line of sight. You can move the model one square to into any of the front three squares. It can't turn, so it retains the same facing. Yeah, I'm going to leap forward. Cool. Okay. That's even better. All right, so this guy, 1D plus 3. Oh, I need a reaction roll. Hold on. Yeah, for every reaction, there's a roll. Can't forget that. Four, so I don't, I don't, don't get, get to leap to do forward. It, yeah. All right, so well, move me up one then. And okay, up. I'm gonna take a reaction at the end of that one. Yep. Nope. Nope. Don't two is not gonna do it. Actually, those are those are <laughs> successful. You Might want be. low for your reaction. Oh, okay. Those were successful. So all right, well the first one ain't gonna do nothing. We, we would have been back here. Sure. And then that one right there, I'll now I would I would attack. So you react. Well, obviously, you I'm only going to react to where it's going to be beneficial right. to me, James. You react and jump forward. Now I attack. Yeah, but I rolled a, s a second success. We don't. We didn't even get there. Okay. We didn't yeah, even we need get to get there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. James. You'll join. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I found that this is easier. It doesn't cause any conflict. What, what do you mean? I should have just well, told you that the Marine Force entry point is not a board, and then you guys <laughs> would have never entered the board. Yeah, well, that, 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 that would have been fine. You, you could have My won. ship would have been fine. <laughs> All right, so 1D plus 3. No, two. two. You miss. Okay, I'm uh, reacting. So uh, this is my second roll count. Yeah, one. One. So that counts. Close combat attack. So that's uh, this guy's gonna die because uh, he's a bone swords, three dice. Oh yeah, he's super dead. <laughs> Eight, four, and four. 
<laughs> just need that. Who just died? Any of us. Anybody. <laughs> Uh, that was tactical. Tactical. They have no hope of survival. Uh, parm. Parm parm Parmesan. Parmesan. Yeah. Parmesan oh, Don. No. Oh, die. Parm. All right. Move me up one. Are you gonna react? Oh, you can't. You this can't one. See. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see. Yeah, you can see. Uh, reaction. I need to succeed on my reaction roll. I got a nope. one. Oh, yeah. Yep. Success. I don't like that up and down. This guy this is, is dead. <laughs> Basically, if you... Um, do you have one more dice? What are you, what are you doing? I'm close combat <laughs> attacking. You, you can't do that, right? From there to there? Yes, I can. Okay. Do what you want. Jay, God, you're so you unfun to play with. You Five, You four, started it. <laughs> I did start it. Eleven. Oh, so I can't do nothing? Okay, so the <laughs> no, same you thing you said? <laughs> oh, Eleven. Go, Jay. He hit me first. You're dead. I know. <laughs> this guy has a, a skull on his uh, base. Uh, no, an overturned helmet to prove that uh, he his head fell off and slammed into the ground. Oh, no, that's an Imperial Guard helmet. Yeah, I don't know why he would have an Imperial Guard helmet. All right. Dude's dead. dead. Big cool. cheese down. Big cheese down. Damn. This one bone slitter. He's the hope of all the yeah, Tyranids. Yeah, yeah, tanking. Yeah. He is tanking and cut it because he's like fucking amped up because he knows that the objective is in this room right over here. Oh. He's like shit. the royal guard. I should have had two reactions then. What this guy? Okay, let's uh, let's do let's do the previous rea the first reaction from this guy when he killed that first yeah. marine. It would so maybe it, you can it's save not very that good. guy. It's, yeah, but it's not very good. It's um just one D plus three. That's it. Okay, so when Parmesan di Don died, this guy reacted with an eleven. <laughs> Twelve. Ooh. Twelve. He killed him. <laughs> oh, yeah. give me give me that guy back who died. Parm. That was Parm. That died. Who was the first guy that got taken that out? That was uh, fucking uh, but Blizzard. Blizzard got killed. So Blizzard he, got he, killed. Yeah, he got and killed. And then the second he got killed, then he reacted right. because this guy didn't attack. Right. So if we play right, which we do want to play yeah, right, yeah, yeah. then this guy would have blown away that dude. And then he would have moved forward. So go with uh, Parmesan. Okay, so, so here there's no enemies. One, two, three. Three and attack. Three in attack. Yeah. So that is a 1D plus three. Damn it! I hate this timeline. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Miss. Yeah. And then my last guy, just move him in. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough That's for it. you to get units on the board, I feel like. Yeah, well, I mean, Jay did get lucky a few times, <laughs> and then he, like, to he took did, everything out. He did find the... Learning... Yeah. Found it quick, yeah. yeah the yeah. shoots, which or whatever. is good for him. But if you see how many soldiers he's losing yeah. in a battle that he's kind of, I need to keep him a little alive a little, a little bit better. Yeah. All right. So that's the end of a Space Marine turn. Right. Then it would go to. I feel like. I was just reacting to you, right? Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. That's what so it was, then, yeah. give me a die. And I'm going to roll. Re I need a nine first. through a twelve to be able to spawn somebody Four, in. Yeah. Nope. And then I get the normal uh, campaign reinforcement thing. Eight. Eight. I think that is one. Yeah, it's a single token. Single token. Seven through eight. One. So I only have one, two, three. I've got five tokens left in here. <clears throat> okay. All right. So my turn then? Yeah. I'm you need to kill this thing, Jay. I need to kill this. Either one. I killed this or I killed that. It's the same thing, right? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Because this would auto, yeah. the mission would what, auto end. What is it to kill that thing? The armor on that is 
probably bad. Well, you're wondering if it's worse than a 12. Yeah. I'll look it up. It has an armor of... Doesn't say on that one. 14. <laughs> yeah. Definitely yeah. kill all I'll the kill cysts this. first. I'll kill the cysts. All right. So let me see if how many... Uh, extra actions. 10. So two. Because mm -hmm. I don't have any sergeants left. They're all dead. They suck. Nice. I killed all your sergeants. All right. So... I think Jay learned a valuable lesson. Keep your sergeants in the in back. <laughs> I mean, they're good fighters, though. I'm going to do this. One, two, uh, three, four. And then these guys are pointed this way. So with the missile launcher, I'm going to shoot the cyst. Okay. Finish it off. Missile launcher is... Where's the damn missile? Mm, I'm gonna mad at Jay if I find it before him. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm gonna use the Melta one. Melta? You don't have a Melta. You there's three, launch. three. There's three missiles: Frag, Blind, and Melta. Oh no no no! No. Frag grenade. Those are. Why does it say All grenade right, here, and I missiles? I found it for you. It's a 1D plus 2. Uh, no, it's unlimited. What the fuck is a star 2? Wait, oh. hold, on, hold on. It's a star 2. Oh, there it is. Star 2. I don't know what two. the fuck is a star 2. It's not on here. <laughs> yeah, so area effect roll to hit depends on the, on the missile. Oh, Fires you frag, know. blind, or melt a missile. I will fire a melt a missile. Oh, yeah, it was that special token. Yeah. So your target, here's the missile target. You're going to target that? Yep. Well, we don't know how that works. It's th it's the same way as, as shooting anything else with this one, with the Milta, because it's yeah, but it has a attack scatter. the target square with the roll to hit of 1D plus 8, no area effect. Okay. So 1D plus 8. Yeah, 12. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Throwing grenades is not as accurate. Take the scatter template. Grenade, grenade. That's a roll. D12 and move the grenade so that it's not on the square where the number corresponds with your roll. That's a grenade. What about a missile? I just read them. Attack this target square with, with the two hit roll of 1D8 plus 8. Or 1D plus 8. No area effect. That's just the most powerful game weapon in the game. D plus eight. Yeah. What'd you roll? Uh, four. Four plus eight. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Exactly what you needed. Yeah. Blah blam. Okay. Mission success. Let's see uh, what Jay gets. So Marines are trying to get victory points at the end of every uh, encounter. Space Marine victory points. As a Space Marine player, if your forces win a battle and capture... Hey, Nate. Thank you. Two years, Nate. What? Nate. Salute to you. Two years, Nate, for being with us. Badass. And um, you are badass. <laughs> victory points are a measure of how much damage your forces have done to the hive ship. The larger the hive ship, the more damage Space Marines need to inflict to cripple it. So the more victory points you'll need to win. All right. Primary objectives are more damaging to the ship and therefore worth more. Oh, nice. So that's why you would want to destroy a primary objective rather than uh, firing at the cyst. So you would have got 30 victory points and 10 victory points for each secondary. Um, primary objectives are, are more damaging. You earn 30 victory points for each primary objective. Destroyed or captured. Maybe you captured yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Checking for victory. I'm going to say you, you captured it and give you 30 victory points. So that means you need one more primary, primary. objective and you win plus 10 points. So probably one secondary too. Yeah. 
Okay. So you you would just like record that and then yes. So for the next I'm portion record, of the game, I'm recording that you have thirty. Pull yeah. pull your Marines off here and let's keep going. So I'm gonna go to the uh, exploration cam here, or the uh, card cam. Sorry. Gotcha. So here's where Jay is uh, was exploring. He did this primary objective, the energy cortex. And succeeded. So that one is gone. Um, and uh, let's see. The Jay's turn ended. I'll get my uh, opportunity to roll for reinforcements. But this is this all goes away, right? Because this, yeah, this that's not section there. is gone. Don't worry about that. We're just focusing on this. So I rolled a six, which I'm not, I don't think is enough for reinforcements. Um, I'm going to say no. Do you have the, is it on our reference sheet? Reinforcements, yeah. Uh, uh, lower, lower. Uh, oh, right. it is worth one. Yeah. When we're in a raid, yep. it's worth one. Okay, uh, now we move. We move our waves. Or that was at the end. I should have moved my waves earlier. That's fine. I'll move my waves now. Now go ahead, Jay. And it's your turn, so we come over here. Do you want to move or, or do marine deployment? So that whole right flank is done then. So, well, let me double check what you can find in here. Okay, so in the core of the ship, there is possibilities at secondary objectives. So it's not completely useless to keep exploring in the right flank because, remember, you're going to need one secondary and one primary. And then you win. Unless I can kill all your Marines beforehand. So wh where do you want to move these guys? Or do you even want to move them? Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I, I wouldn't want to move them. Okay. As None of these end. guys are moving. So we'll go to the left flank. Uh, you were in a trap, which means that uh, all I have to do is discard the card. And we roll on the trap table. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we get to do a fun thing here. So his left flank, which means his three heroes and his one Space Marine scout, goes on this trap. All right, Jay, roll a D12, and I'll Here tell you the result. AJ, three. Let me get AJ Cam. Imprisoned. As the recon <laughs> squad enters a large chamber, the huge Finkters... <laughs> <laughs> At each end, close tight. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the squad is trapped here. Go, go to two cast, two caster. So I'm trying uh, to hide my blushing. Yeah, you're trying to this. <laughs> the squad is trapped in the chamber, and following squads are forced to bypass it. Place the squad counter upside down in the reserves box. Upside down in the reverse reserves box. And remember, this is Space Marine Squad A. Yeah. So tell me who just got trapped. Uh, so that was... In the sphincter. Uh, cheeseburger. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, Michik. Gallant. Game 4. And uh, Dumpster. Yep. All right. Welcome to the sphincter. Place the squad counter upside down in the reserves box. Each turn during the Space Marine deployment, roll a D12. On a score of 12, the squad is finally free, and it oh, may geez, be deployed. They're, they're wow. done. They're done for the Other game. Other squads in reserves area can help scan and help free the squad. Add plus one to the D12 roll for each squad in the reserves box that isn't moving that turn. So plus three. It'd still be pretty hard. So the hard. sphincter's closed up on squad A. I love it. All right. Uh, moving on to uh, this area, the blocked passage. This turn, you have to just yeah, get rid just of get the rid blocked of it, passage. And then you go, Nick. And then you've already... No, you... No, you could do this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or do you... Yeah, do, do you the wanna... core. Okay, right, let's no, see. This is a passage. Um, this pa If this is recon or the scouts... And it's the first thing turn. Yeah. And we go again because he's got scouts here. It's another passage. And, and it just stops there. It stops here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now it's the Tyranid turn. I can move my forces around on the board, which I will. Okay. And then. Uh, 
Okay. Um, I need to see if I get reinforcements. What is it? Six. Six is one. I have three tokens left in this bag. I assume when I run out of tokens, I just don't get any more. Um, okay. You go again to yep. the card cam. Yep. So, squad. We still have to stay in that uh, first one. Now, are these guys... What's interesting is I don't think heroes work like this. We've been yeah, using I heroes. I think maybe heroes get attached to a squad. So, we'll just say that... Unless you want to look it up real quick. I'll look it up real quick. Because I was thinking, you know, if heroes are their own squad, I don't know. Choosing your forces. Each force is split up into squads and individuals with point values. Key individual models. Once you reach a maximum number of points. Pick squads and individual hero models. Special rules for different types of weapons and for heroes are given later in the book. There's a summary in the notes section on the force list pullouts. Okay. So heroes should be somewhere else in the book. Weapons... Turned weapons, armies, space marines. Two action, space, space marine heroes. Among the ranks of the space marines are many heroic leaders whose bravery and qualities of leadership mark them out for exalted comrades, as well as officers in charge of squads. Space marine knows as commanders. There's librarians, chaplains. As the most experienced and highly trained members of a Space Marine force, heroes automatically take two actions during their turn. Oh, that's where two that's actions nice. are. Yeah. Heroes to... have fate points, which can be used to change things that have just happened. This represents a greater skill and ability to predict enemy actions. You can use a fate point to change the value of a die roll to any number you want. <laughs> fate points can only be used if the hero is directly affected by a die roll. That's pretty cool. They only have one fate point, I assume. I don't know. Because that would be pretty powerful to have more than one. I'm going to say that they, these tokens, I can't see any reason why they wouldn't. If so as long as they move together, yeah. then, then they should be fine. Um, so uh, it's Space Marine deployment. So how do you want to move your Marines? I'll leave it. Well, you have to put somebody here if oh. you want to continue exploring. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dude. Only max one counter. All right. So just put the put the Patrick, chaplain. Put you, the chaplain in there. That's me. Who is me? <laughs> what what letter is angry? Uh, uh, F. F. <laughs> F's in chat for Angry <laughs> Joe, who is going exploring by himself. Get out there. Get out front. Um, we're still in the perimeter of the ship, yeah, right? Because so we haven't found the... Angry the Joe bit. found the duct. Yeah, there you go. All right. Damn, like the duct like leads that. from one area of the ship, taken over. Leave the card face up from the next exploration phase. You can start turning over cards. Okay. So now his buddies, if he actually does, can join him if yeah. a battle happens. But Angry Joe's leading the way. Now... The other duct is finished, and now you can explore here. Yep. So squad B found. Oh, shit. It's the secondary primary objective. Whoa. Jay might be able to win this whole fucking Whoa. game tonight. Respirator <laughs> vent. You have found the vital respiratory organ that produces a breathable atmosphere within the hive ship. Primary objective. Oh, shit. These are your Terminators, right? Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. It's got one scout but squad and Terminators. you have been fucking around on the ship for a little bit. So I have one. Oh, I only have four counters. <laughs> I thought it was more. Okay. Uh, so we set that, that up. Go ahead and do the overhead view here. Okay. Now you got to reshuffle those little ones, right? Is yeah. that how it works? Yeah. And remake a new board. Hmm. F's in the chat. I'm going to read the story. Uh, 
What was it called? Respiratory vent. Board section. Six six board sections. Respiratory vent. Okay. Uh, all the squads. Okay. First and second waves. Two cysts. Special rules. As the respiratory vent sucks. Oh, when you were in the uh, energy cortex, uh -huh. if you had models within six on a score through one through three, the temper you temporarily lose consciousness. But I think you were f further further enough away. That's not that big of a deal. All right, respiratory vent sucks the impure gases from around the ship. There's a buildup of noxious chemicals in the surrounding air. This these chemicals can cause a thick cloud to fill the bore section containing the vent. Treat this exactly the same as a blind grenade, reducing visibility to just one square. Hmm. So the room with the vent has a bunch of noxious gas, which reduces visibility to one. Uh, all right, so the respiratory vent. Uh, he's got to uh, zoom in on. Well, let me just set up the board first. All right, go uh, to AJ Close. Okay, number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. Number whatever. I don't think I should be saying these out loud. I don't know the numbers anyway. No, so Cheeseburger, matters. you're dead. Di didn't he die? He died? Or cheeseburger? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Or was that Parmesan Tom? Uh, One of the cheeses. See. Where was he at? This Where was he two. Yeah, he had two. No. One. Two goes next to one. No, the cheeseburger's trapped. He's oh, you're trapped, trapped, cheeseburger. Yep. So, not you're down, but not out. That that whole squad. He was in squad one. So oh, the one that got yeah. yeah. Okay, now there's three. Uh, this is six. Wait, I'm not supposed to put six in yet. Six is next to. What was that? Yeah, what was that? My notifications. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's four. It's a, it's a Jawa. <laughs> An elf. <laughs> it's an elf. It's a rape dwarfs. Okay. And then finally, the last one. And then all these get mixed in. Okay. Gotta be a better way to do that. Yeah. I think just let me fucking set the board up the way I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't really see yeah. a reason. It's well, I mean, it's it so a little bit more randomized. It's so ar arbitrary though, because. At the end, I I insert the marine entry point. So all right, objective. And you get two two of those um, lips. Teleport lips. Yep. Cysts. And then all my blips. System blips. You haven't been ambushed. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you got good scouts. All right. Board. I'll sip your drink right now. This board. Look at I sip it. I sip it real good now. Give me your drinks. Okay, this is uh, the squad that these squ these guys have not been named, so we're going to need chat to uh, join in the fun here. So we've got some Terminators and a scout squad's going in. Jay, if you'll set up the squad B and squad D in front of the camera. Zoom in. 
Incubus is in a term me, so uh, put Incubus as a Terminator. Phoenix, you 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 already died. Oblong mm. squad. No he's, response. He's a scout. Oblong is a scout, and Incubus is a Terminator. Nice. We need four more on each, so we need eight more guys. Come on, chat. Sweet, hey, Montune, how are you guys? Montune, make Montune a Terminator. Sir Flammy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Space Marine Scout. Come on, four. E Exclusion, Did you? are you already in? So, Montune a Terminator. Incubus a Terminator. Did you get those two? Let me know, oh. and then I'll keep them. Keep giving it to you. Uh, what was the last one you said? Uh, Montiun and Incubus. They're, they're Terminators. Got it. Yeah. Oblong and Flammy. Oblong, O B L O N G, Flammy. You know, those are both uh, Scouts. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've got another Terminator. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. Power. Grimdell 23 Terminator. Do we have one more Terminator slot? Yeah. Exclusion. You say Grimdell. Uh, Grimdell, yeah, G-R-A-M-D-E-L-23. And then f the final Terminator exclusion. That's five Terminators? Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need two, two more. more scouts. Uh, throw me in, Coach. Shipwreck 420 is a scout. Parmesan Dodd, you're dead. <laughs> you don't get to come back in. There's no redemption. There is no redemption. Uh, uh, we need three more for scouts. Who wants to be a Space Marine scout? We need one more. Just one more for last last spot for what? scouts. No, last we only put two scouts. I got I got shit written here. So you you have already one. have guys. Yeah. Catachan Man, do we have him? I'll go in as yeah. a weak guy if you want. Catachan Man, got it. All right, we are squatted up. We are ready to go in. Squad. Catachan yeah. Man's got the heavy bolter. Squad. Squad. Nice. Squad. 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 No, no. This was a fun little game, Bane. These motherfuckers trapped in the sphincter <laughs> is uh, hilarious. <laughs> All right, Jay, since it's not an ambush, you Sorry. go first. It's very detailed writing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love that writing. <laughs> By the emperor. <clears throat> you will have it. Oblong, I wish you luck. All right, so one, two, three, four. Five. I don't like how I can't put anything in the first room. One thing I don't like. Yeah. This is boring. He's just doing positioning on that first board. Yeah. Uh, like your first let turn. me roll for it. Extra actions. Extra actions. We one. need to memorize this shit. An eight on the extra actions. I think it's one. Because nine is two. Oh, well, I. I don't know what actually, it it's two it's because. It. There it is. It's one. But I have two sergeants on there, so it's... You do have two sergeants, plus two for each sergeant, so it's a plus four. Eight plus four is a 12. twelve. Two extra actions. Okay, yeah. so... Terminators, move four. Okay. Let's go. One, Terminators should be slower one. than a Marine. They should go three. One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. I only have Bad. two blip Close counters combat. left. All right. There's... Crack Gen. No problem. Have a good day. Good night. Yeah. Check in tomorrow to see if you died. <laughs> one, <laughs> two, three. Thanks for staying four. up with us. That's one extra action with him. Okay. You're, oh, yeah. you're going right away to the side here. 
Oh, we got some action. You're going to see action right away. I got cool. assist and two blips. So let's get the combat underway. Five. Now we're jogging along. Now that we know how to do everything. Uh, put the doors out. Yep. Put your assist in your blip. Assist in the blip. Uh, let's see. What is a safe area for the assist? And what's a safe area for the blip? This has a wall right here. Mm -hmm. So that's a good little thing there. And then... I never know if it's too close. We'll put a blip here. Assist here. Well, where's the next room? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good to go. So, one. Oh, no, no, no. Still with the lightning claws. So, one. Oh, these guys have. So this, that's what it is. So these guys have to do movement for facing. Yes. So one movement for facing. Yeah. So one, two, two for the face. Three, three, four. four. Uh, uh, dead end. Dead end. Okay. Cool. Four. That's it. That's it. That's all my, all me actions. Okay. I only have. Two left. Four. I do not get any more blips. Um, oh, wait, wait. Uh, so that four was actually for extra actions. And what does a four get? Nothing. Nothing. No extra actions. Boo! Yeah, because they are reinforcements at the end of yeah, your turn. Yeah, at the end of my turn. All right, so that is that. And that is that. I need to check up on those. What are those? I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to reveal Death Split, uh, uh, Tyranid Warrior with a bone. Whatever. And he is going to come here. You can't see him, but when he comes here, yeah. you can react. I shall. And so, 10 or less to, to react. Four. That does it. Okay, you are able to react, but can you hit me? We'll see. So, with him. <laughs> They're all kitties, I guess. <laughs> so Hiss. it's a 1D plus 1. Yeah, you ain't hitting him. You got to roll an 11. Oh, that you was on a 10, eight. too. <laughs> that was on a 10. Ping! Ten okay, now I'll fire at you. Cool. Uh, you are three spaces away, so you are in range. And the Tyranid Death Spitter... 2d6 plus 6. Oh, you're sh this guy's dead. Yeah, 7 yeah. and 8. He just melts away. Who is this sergeant? Uh, who was that? <laughs> nice. Um, 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 um. That was Chunky. 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 I don't remember yeah. putting a Chunky in this. Yeah, something like that. Was he one of the original guys? Yeah, the original. We do, we, it was in the beginning the, because we had you. We got too many. It was in the beginning. All right, I'll tell you who the first <laughs> was. Who that the was first it. fucking that guy was? It. Uh, the the first was uh, Oblong and Flammy. Those were the first two scouts. 
No, no, no. That was way. It's w- it was way before that. Like in the very beginning. Oh, you were making guys in other squads way before. It, well, because we we keep on taking them, so I had to put them somewhere. So. Gotcha. Yeah, we're good though. Uh, Get chunky died. Chunk. Put them in my graveyard. Well, all right. Okay. It's your turn. So continue. Okay. Um, I'm going to stay put. My turn then? Yeah. Roll your uh, reinforcements. Seven. Seven. I don't think so. Yes, one. There's only two more counters in here. I have one more reinforcement left, and then I guess I exhaust all my reinforcements. Makes sense. All righty. Let me see. Uh, Space extras. Marine. Extra moves. Let's do it this way. Eight. Eight plus four. Oh, no, plus two. So it's ten. So I still get two actions. Two extra actions. Yeah. This is Jay's most powerful marine uh, contingent force. Yeah, this is um, the if longest. I can, if I can destroy this this force, then the Tyranids have a good chance to win. Jay needs to, and if Jay wins, he needs one more one secondary two. objective, and it's gonna be close. I like this. All right. One, two, three. Okay, reaction yep. shot from me. Let's see if I even get it. I need seven to roll. Or less or uh, reaction on these Tyranid Warriors are seven. Seven or less. Yep. Good. Two, I got it. Yeah, he's Ooh. done. Yeah, he's probably going to die. Two mm-hmm. D6. Uh, D- D12s. Two D12s. I got a eight yeah, and an done. eight. Same. Melted. <sighs> Who was that? That was... Was Katachan. Yeah. Katachan, man. That's right. He had the heavy weapon. Sorry, buddy. Katachan, man. No. It was a, a gamble, but we had You to do were doused with corrosive acid. Despiter, target square. Two blobs of caustic protoplasm scatter randomly yeah. to adjacent squares in addition. Well, there's nobody in the adjacent squares. Uh, go ahead. Uh, roll for a reaction. Okay, that's how here. many squares away are you? Three. That was, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be within the range. The range on that is only eight. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay, so now I will use an extra action to shoot. Oh shit! You outrange me. Yeah. I, What's your range on the assault sure. cannon? Let me see. Uh, space Marine, Terminators. Fuck. Lucky son of a bitch. Assault cannon is thirty-two. <laughs> well, that's that's <laughs> aimed fire, not snap fire, right? Well, I'm using. You're the gonna aim, aim fire. fire? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I want. yeah. You can hit the whole map there. Yeah. Well, even on snap, it's twelve. All right. So that'd be two tiles. Aimed is two D plus five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, that, oh you 12. rolled a 12, <laughs> which is enough to fucking obliterate him. <laughs> Shit. I'm my bad boy. By the Emperor. You will have it. Yeah. Fuck. So there's that one. He fucking did the terminator. Extra. One. Two. Uh, it'll be one. Two, three, 
three, four. No, can't, he can't even do it. Yeah. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This, this guy's one, two, three, four. All right. Rest of these guys. Let's go. Uh, one, two, A, B, three, four, five. Yeah, because that overhead view ain't doing one, shit. One, two, three, four, five. Look down that way. One, two, three, four, five. Look down that way. All right. Um. End of your turn. I still have one extra action I need to use before I lose it. So let's go ahead and just open that door. This door. Oh, yes. Thank you. I want you to open that door. That door is good door. <sighs> Two blips and one cyst. Okay. Let's see. Where I put. Where I put. Let's put assist right here. Doors. Doors. F. What is an F? Okay. Fuck it. Let's put it right in front. Gene Steeler's here. Oh, shit. That's what we forgot to, be to do. What? Was that once you place a blip, I can get to move it one space. Okay. You want to move these guys two down? Yeah. One down? I want to move that one. Back. No, no. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I thought it was like in a specific situation, but uh, maybe not. Okay. Um. Oh, and that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I am deployed. So, my turn, because you ran out of actions. Well, uh, so his first one is to open it. That's one. Right. And then I could charge in, right? Wait, this was the beginning of your turn? No, this was just the, his his initial. Yeah, I think he had no more actions, right? Yeah, I used an extra action on him. That's what. Okay, so he has four. Yeah. So one to open. And then the rest One to move. And then one to hit. Yeah. So thunder shoes. So it's one D. One D plus eight. Close on uh, A. Right, here we go. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Two plus eight. So ten. These are gene pure strain gene stealers. Let's get a close up on it. This guy is Thunder Hammer and Storm Shield. Uh, Pure Strain Gene Stealer needs a 10. Yeah, 10. Damn. Time. Explodes in a bloody mess. That is limited. Unlimited. Got that kill. Good job. All right, that's my turn. Okay, do I have a token? I do have a token left. Oh, oh wait, this is for extra actions. Extra actions. Nine. That's mm, at nine, least one, that's, right? That's two, two extra uh, actions, so I'm going to trade it in for a blip. a blip to come in. Cool. Making this better. This is how I can potentially win. 
Oh, we're going to need some more. J, J, give me a J. Need some Terminators over here. I feel like... Pretty rough. Okay, we're gonna put that there. Okay, and uh, so that was. Wait a minute. Uh, two actions. Yeah, turning that in, and now my turn. Yep. Uh, so if I move, you're gonna whack me. Yep. Whack them off. And you whack me on a two. Yeah. Fuck that. So if you roll it, to, uh, the only uh, the only roll you fail, it's a, a one. It's he has a plus eight. Plus one with D that plus eight. Let me get a zoom in on this, Patrick. He gets a plus eight. Yeah, Thunderhammer. That's fucked. We're running. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go one. How fast do fucking? Too bad I can't throw the hammer. Six, six, bad, I'm not one, Thor two, Terminator. Three. Four, five, six. Now we'll go here. And we're going to reveal this guy. He's a shooter. F, which yeah. is the um, ball or death spitter. My last death spitter. Uh, and we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I can go six. Uh, I'm going to fire at the Terminator. Let's see whether a Death Spitter can melt a Terminator. What's the armor of a Terminator? Ten. Not bad. I mean... Mm. He, oh, actually... I'm sorry. Uh, Terminator is 13. What? Okay. I mean, you still have a very 13? good chance. Very good chance. You're a plus six, right? I am a plus six. Yeah. But you know what? That's that's two actions. I can't do that, right? Because yeah, we're moving and you fire. Yeah, can't, can't move and fire. fire. Um, Whoa. Oh, that's a big old raid right there. Hey, oh, shit. thank you. Benzai. Benzai. My man Benzai from France. Good to see you, my brother. Welcome. All of the French people. As you can see, we are playing a 32-year-old game. 34. 34-year-old game, Advanced Space Crusade. Benza, I don't know if you're here, but check out uh, this uh, dice tower that I got going on here. Pretty wild. Let's go B-cam. B-cam. See, uh, the Den of Imagination made us this awesome dice tower in my image. You put the dice in the top of his head, and then it rolls out. 7-Eleven, baby. 7-Eleven. <laughs> That's a gas station over here. Um, so drawing from middle to middle, I think I'm going to clip this. I don't yeah. think I can shoot. Yeah, I clip that side. Mm. And then he only moves four, so we're going to exploit this slowness of a Terminator. Mm -hmm. He can go. He's here. One, two, three. Then he'd have to turn. Yep. So that's as far as he can get. So yep. let's let's go here so that we can wait for him cool. to shoot. So I'm going to back up one and turn and wait for that Terminator to shoot. And then with this token, you got a Texan accent. You I'll go French? one, two, three, oh, four, five. Ooh, I can hit you right away with this token. Ain't nothing wrong with Texas accent. Uh, ben Z. Oh, wait a minute. That's a compliment. One, to me. and then turn facing is free. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six. No, I'm not going to be able to hit you. Is there another way to do this? No diagonals. One, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three. Hmm. All right, we'll just go here. Cool. Uh... 
Oh, and then I'm going to come over here and let's see. Move. This here. And that's it. I'm just moving that blip a little bit. And Tyranid turns is over. It is. Let's see what the Space Marines have. All right. So extra actions plus two. 12, Twelve. 14. Oof. Does 14 give me three? How many extra actions do you know uh, Yeah, it does. Three extra actions. Mm. Nice. Three. So there's two. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Jay is considering his options carefully. This is teetering on the line because if I win this two. scenario, I think the Marines Three, are screwed. They're running! <laughs> the Marines are running! Oh. I've never seen a Terminator One, turn two. tail. <laughs> oh, no, here comes a shooter. Four. Hold it. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, hold it. That? You got to reveal. Yeah. Okay, so Space Marine Scout revealed this. It is a mind slave. Ooh. It's some orcs that have been slaved. It's the Gretchen. <laughs> Little zombie, zombie Gretchen with alien tentacles attached to the tops of their heads. And they are revealed. Okay. Uh, the token was here. Let me go here. Five little Gretchen. <laughs> we got you, bitch. Oh, I thought it was an orc. Yeah. For <laughs> Need some orc. Uh, How many spaces did you move? Uh, four. And then uh, with the fifth one, I can smack, right? Yeah, but technically the game is you have to declare what action it was. So I guess so. And you you didn't choose a charge, did you? You chose an advance. Yeah. So you wouldn't have been able to attack. Do you want to use some of your extra actions though? Yeah, I got three. You can use your three extra actions to maybe get this guy out of trouble. <laughs> you could probably kill all those Gretchen. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so we'll start off with the one extra action, just a regular old pummel in the face of a Gretchen. Okay. Scout is 2D plus 2D plus 2. Okay, so declare the action. So uh, that guy extra against action. that guy. Close combat, yep. And he rolls. <laughs> Got a 4 and a 12. And that does it. That Gretchen is pummeled. Now, if I remember this right, you can hit as many times as you have movement points. Is that is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you can. Uh, so that was one movement point to, uh, on the charge, right? Yeah. And then your second charge, second movement point, since he's in front of you here, yeah. this guy you can't see until yeah. you turn. You can attack him. Uh, a it. five and a twelve. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> freaking absolutely exploding these Gretchen. So that was one movement point, two movement point, three movement point, four movement point to attack this Gretchen, and that is a five. And I don't know, yeah, but I think a five is probably worth five plus two. Gretchen are very easy to kill. Gretchen need a. Five on the dice. Five. Okay, so that so now one goes down. So, and yeah, and three it. Gretchen killed instantly, basically, with one action. All right, so next guy. Whoa. One, two, three, four. Can't get in. One, two. 
Yeah, see, the model can't shoot while charging, but it can make close combat attacks. Uh -huh. Each attack costs one square of movement. Okay. Oh, For example, cool. if a model has a speed six, uh, you can make six, three attacks if you advance. Yeah. Cool. Blah, blah. That's good to know. All right, so um, those guys have moved. Okay, wait. So I forgot about reactions, right? So let's do the system right. So let's see what the Gretchen can do. So when you first did... You're, all these three Gretchen were dead, but when you killed this first Gretchen, this second Gretchen would have had a reaction to you. Chance. So let's yeah, see chance for a reaction. This. So what's his reaction roll? Uh, reaction roll is a five or under. No. He wouldn't have. And then this would have reacted to yeah. you. Three? Three yeah. under. So he would have reacted. Let's see what he would have done. What kind of weapon did Gretchen have? Gretchen have... Close combat D minus two <laughs> <laughs> or a D minus one to fire with a flintlock rifle. So I'm going to choose the one that's better. D minus one. I got a seven no. minus one six. What did I need? You needed a eight. Okay. So that guy did that. Then when he killed him, he would try get a again, reaction yeah. below five. Nope. nope. And then he would have killed, killed him. him. And then let's see him react below a five. Nope. Him reacting below a five. Yes. Five, yeah. Five or below. And then he fires uh, minus one. Seven minus one is six. Yeah. So yeah. could not plink the armor. So, yeah. There you go. Gretchen are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never buying Gretchen again. All right, so with this other extra action, he will go. So one, two, attack. Oh, hold on. So attack, when you attack. moved where? Where'd you move? Right. One, one two. two. Stop there. I'm going to uh, I can't fire. stop on my guy. That's fine. Yeah. You can stop on that. So ten, he doesn't get it. This guy, five, he yep. does get it. And then a roll minus one. Two. Two minus one. One. That Gretchen misses. He shoots himself in the head. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, so close combat. Uh, 2D plus two. Got him. Okay. First one. You can try to react. React below five. Nope. Nope. And next, next one. And got him. <laughs> That was just a speed bump. I mean, those Gretchen weren't even there. <laughs> but bother. that makes sense. I mean, yeah. in canon, a Space Marine scout is going to tear through Gretchen. Gretchen. Yeah. All right. And I still have one more ex extra action, too. Why? So Why you take that back? Because I have three total. Oh, okay. You just took I two I just counters. don't have any. I only have two counters. Um, so I did this move. I did this move. These three just haven't moved yet. Okay. Got three blips over there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and then this guy will take the extra action. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's it. Marine turnover. Uh, Turn it turn now. Looking for a nine through a twelve, I got one extra action. Not enough to bring in a blip through assist. This was him, right? Yeah. Okay. Um Let's do this one. Gene Steelers. Go. Cool. All right, so I'll try to react. All right, what's the react value of a Terminator? Uh, 10. 10 and below. Roll one dice. 12. 12. He does not <laughs> react. He's sleeping. One, two, and then hitting you. Wait, wait. I, oh, you know what? One for... <coughs> I get to react every time. Okay, react now. <laughs> Eleven! <laughs> he fails to react. 
Okay. Uh, I can move one more and I can react. That's it. Oh, shit. Well, he's going to die on this last one. Fuck. If I react. See, 12! I didn't even react. What? That guy's <laughs> he's straight sleeping. up <laughs> sleeping in his armor. <laughs> That's wild. That helps me <sighs> so much. You have yeah. no idea. Yeah. Froze so, up. You know, what? So one, two, three, and then hitting you. I missed for three four. reaction rolls. Oh my gosh. Who is that? Well, this guy's dead because if you can do that, then I can do that, right? So I can hit you how many ever speed I have left. So I can hit you three times. Yeah. That's wild. All right. So oh my god, in close combat, pure strain gene stealers are three dice plus five. Wow. Wow. Uh got Eight plus five is what? Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. That's what you need. And these other two don't do it. No. Thirteen. You only take the, th the top one. So that kills that guy. This guy can react now. He that the was dude. sleeping. Yeah, that guy was totally dead. sleeping. That was normal. That was uh, Grimdale. Grimdale, you stink. Grimdale <laughs> died. He could not. You he was sleeping in his arms. You got to wake up, man. Got to get revenge for your brother. All right, so this, that is the sergeant. That's Monty, and he will attempt to shoot. All right, sergeant shooting. All right, here. Let me see if I can uh, react, if he's not sleeping or not. Uh, sergeant has a different react value? Yeah, same? usually. Uh, Terminator sergeant is... Yeah, where's it at? Ten. Yeah, so it's the same. Five. That was almost eleven. <laughs> All right. So he gets to shoot. Is shoot is snap fire two D plus one. And what's that? Uh, Gene Steeler is like a eight, right? Ten. Ten. All right. Here we go. Six. Six and six. six. It's a miss. Yeah. Two misses. Let's see. So I need one, two to get to you. Yeah. Um, let's go one. All right. Ten or less. Good. You got eight. Two uh, D. I need that. twelve. I that kills him. Fuck. There you go, Monty. That's Fuck. another kill for you. Okay. Um, well, that was that Gene Stealer. This guy can react over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that. <laughs> so let's do this guy. One, two, three, four. If I open the door, you're going to fire. Yeah. Four, five, six. I could hit him. Yeah. Okay. This is a desperate <laughs> attempt. This Assault cannon, does it have like a minimum range? No, I guess yeah. there's no minimums. The assault cannon's going to fucking obliterate me, right? If I'm what's, if what's I'm not the, sleeping. What's the plus on it? Uh, So assault cannon You got to roll 10 and under, and then three dice. Snapfire is 2D plus 4. 2D plus 4. For snapfire, yeah. It's possible... But unlikely. So I think I'm going to hide. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to hide there with that guy. I still have him to go with. Yep. I think I can take one shot from a Terminator. And this will give me that juicy splash damage. Yeah, right. But Terminator armor probably won't do shit. Uh, I do, I'm going to use the extra action once I finish moving. So two, three, four. Um, wait, hold on. Where was I? Back one. Back one here? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, 
Reaction. Reaction. Uh, so ten or less. Eight. Damn. Fuck. And then this one is Terminator Sergeant. Snapshot 2D plus one. Still kind of. I need Hang in there. Seven nope. and five. Nope. That's not enough. No. Nope. Yes. Death Spitter firing. 2D6 plus. You know what, Jay? You can't fire. You just moved. Uh, I know, but I have. I was okay, going to use okay. this extra action. You know what, Jay? I've been cheating. Huh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Jay's playing on hard mode. <laughs> the Death Spitter <laughs> isn't 2D6 or 2 dice plus 6. That's the Death Spitter in close combat. What it is is one dice, not two dice. Okay. And aren't yeah, we picking the highest anyway? Yeah. So it probably didn't yeah, affect it too, too much. much. No. Uh, three plus, yeah, that's not going to do it. No. Uh, but there is splash damage over here, and if I can roll a natural, what's the armor? 13. Oh, then that's impossible because the best I can roll is a 12. Yeah, fuck. Okay, can't penetrate the uh, Terminator armor. <laughs> uh, that was a bad decision. I should have saved that guy for some scouts. Well, that was my extra action. So my turn is done. I have one reinforcement token. Let's see if I get it. Seven. Seven. I, I get it. That's my last reinforcement token. The all of the tur all of the Tyranids are now on the ship in various parts of the ship. May not be in yeah. this battle, but they are all crawling here. all around the ship. I will get right. no more reinforcements. For my extra actions, plus two. Two. Four. No. <laughs> Four. I don't get any. No extra well, actions this time. It. Oh, that would have been so helpful. Oh, wow. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. He'll sit right there. Okay. Because that's all he can do for a move. One, two, three, four, five. He'll sit right here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll sit right there. God, if I could get a surprise alien out of that, that cyst. <laughs> I know. I could kill all of them. Uh, one, two, three, four. These Terminators are a problem. Yeah, they're heavy hitters. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one, two. I'll turn this way. All right, so just shoots and yeah, um, two D plus one. All right, so this guy, yeah, that guy, to that guy. You got got eight. him. Oh no, an eleven got and a him. nine. Would the nine have done it? No, nine plus one. No, he needed an ex. Ah, oh, you needed an eleven. Yeah, I did. Oh no, I needed oh, a yeah. ten actually. A ten. Actually, they both would have done it. Why? Yeah, because at nine plus one, it's two D. No, one. these guys have armor of 11. 11? Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was 10. My bad. Yeah, so I need 11. That's you cool. luck. Ow. Lucky, lucky, lucky. That's cool. No reaction from me because I can't see anything. Yep. I'm done. You're done. Um, okay, well, it's. I just need two extra actions. So I need to roll between a 9 and a 12 to spawn a surprise alien. Five. Oh. Five. Oh. Fuck. That helps. That helps a lot. Um. I'm just going to hit the self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> you know... You know what's cool about this game is I could retreat my gene stealers into the sphincters <laughs> and you could actually, save yeah. them for later and just say, G I give up. You yeah. take the objective. Yeah. Um, but if he gets the objective, he wins, right? No, he gets 60 of the 70 points he needs. Uh, and then yeah. there's 10 more points in here that he uh, needs to get. Yeah. So I'm considering it because these fucking Terminators are scaring me. Um, 
I would like it if my guys can go through this door okay, and go it. run away, but I don't think I, I don't think the aliens can do that and reveal rooms. Only the Marines can reveal new rooms. So, yeah. and he's got a nice hallway here. This is how it is in Space Hulk, I think. Yeah. You know, yeah. especially if you're smart and you're putting your guys on Overwatch. So, yeah, I got a, I got a nice. So if that guy opens that door, he's not going to be able to draw a line of sight to that. Correct? Right. Okay. <coughs> so we'll put that guy there. And then we'll leave that guy there. Yep. And we'll luckily, let it go to you. The Terminators turn. do not have, from what I'm reading, it's Terminators do not have. Um, Your turn. Hold on, I'm reading some. Okay. Looking for, yeah, they don't have grenades. All right, so first things first, let's do extra actions. Let me have a die, please. So extra actions, plus two, seven. Is that one or none? One, one extra action. All right, so one extra action. I'm going to put him on Overwatch. Oh. Let's go. One, two, three, four. He hasn't moved yet. Let's do this. One. Two, two, three, four. He's going to attack. So his combat, his melee, scout's melee is 2d plus 2, needing a 12, correct? 12. Bloosh. You got a 12. Man. A natural 12 blows up the cyst Getting on good that rolls. side. Fucking Damn, nice. I should have done that first. <coughs> it's all right. All Only right. one sis left. Yeah, Ja, he is having good rolls. But I don't. One, I won't two, destroy this Sith because three, remember we don't remember four. if you if you destroy Sith capturing one, versus two, three, four, destroying. Five. He's done. I'm going to take my extra blips. action. Blips. One. Blips. Two. Uh, okay, one. When you, as soon as you no, come no. here. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm just standing right there. Standing right there. Oh, yeah, Waiting two. for me. Yep. All right. One, two, three. It's right behind him. That's it. I'm done. Ooh, you left yourself vulnerable. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no reaction. Why? Because it's these three, these front three spaces. Oh, okay. On yeah. line of I'll, I'll be able to survive. Well, it's only one attack because it took me a long time to run over there. So one attack and pure strange gene stealers, three dice plus three. So I need tens, right? Plus Tends three. to kill yeah. you. Tends to They're kill armor 13. Yep. Here we go. Side swipe. I don't know if side gives you anything. I know back gives you something. Not a single 10. One, yeah. three, and six. That is a fumble. Okay. Well, he is in um, your line of sight for... Wait, wait. Wait a minute. No, I no. think that if, remember, uh, for shooting, 
line of sight is that three. way, but I was thinking about shooting yeah. where these yeah. three are just the arc. So I think that as soon as I would have entered this spot, you could have taken your reaction. Now, now when you take your reaction, can, no, because you're un that's what it is. Because remember, you're unmaneuverable uh -huh. as a Terminator. You would have to turn first, then hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be because you couldn't turn. That's where I was able yeah, to okay. do that, and I missed anyway. Um, so I guess if I go here, you're going to get an opportunity to hit me. Yeah. And all you would need to roll is a what two? Yeah. And on two dice. Or one dice. So it is a. I'm not going to do it. 1D plus 8. One dice. So you can roll a 1 or a 2 and yeah. I'd survive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, a 2 would win, right? Yeah, because that's 2. So the <laughs> only thing you could <laughs> roll, roll a is one. a 1 <laughs> yeah. out of 12. Yeah, that's yeah. not happening. I'm not taking that. Uh. Critical failure. Um. Since I messed up with that guy, that guy's dead. Wait, at the beginning of my turn, I should have took uh, to see if I get any reinforcements. Okay. 9 through 12, and I win. Nope. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Big old three. Uh, I think I'm going to peace out. I think Jay might win. Um, it's you, this you damn... You save that one guy, at least. It's this damn Terminator... I mean, you did kill the weakest Terminator. I'm going to peace out. Yeah. One, two, three, four, going into the sphincter and leaving that. Um, that's it. And then the, my, my turn is over. Yeah. And then it goes to reinforcements, but I have no reinforcements. So, Jay. All right. So, my extra turns. Six? No, that's nine. Nine plus two is 11. I think that's only two. Yeah, so that's two extra actions. All right, first things first. I'm going to turn and smack you. Okay, roll a one. All right. <laughs> it's an 8% chance, apparently. Really? It sounds a lot higher than it was. Three. Three. Uh, that's that's close. <laughs> Hammer time. And then, Hammer time is sweet. Catachan man, thank you for the maths. Yeah, uh, Katachan man. And then I will. Let me. Can I I've got no aliens left, Chad, unless one. they pop out of this cyst. One. So two, he might win. Three. Four. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Eight point three 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 chance. Let's get it. This comes off. That was my extra turn for that that guy. Okay. Uh, let's give them some help. One, two, three, four. Actually, let me see. Five. Joe did use One, all his luck two. on the first uh, display Whoa. rolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was rolling like 11s and 12s. One, two, three, four. One, two, th three, four. One, two, three. Four, five, one, two. Open this up. Um. This is a room with nothing. Yeah, nothing. Burger. Some doors. This is the last guy. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. Hmm. What? Your turn? turn? Your turn. Okay, basically all I'm looking for is trying to hit nine through twelve. Yep. Here. Uh and ambushing Jay is the only thing I can hope for. So here we go. Rolling through the Angry Joe head. Eight. Eight. One <laughs> off. Oh, man. Ah. They call it there? I'm just going to smack it a couple times. Um, Cause. Yeah, because – no, I'm not going to call it. I want to see uh, right. uh, how a thunder hammer, how, how easy a thunder hammer blows up a cyst. 
So I need a four or better. And I got, so that was one, and I got three times to, to try to do it. Yeah, one and then hit it three times. Yeah. So nine, yeah. Nine blows it away. Okay, that kills all the cysts on the map. Jay auto wins. If we, here's the thing, though. Um, he either captures or destroys it. But I, I haven't seen that distinction anywhere in the rule book. It did say under exploring. So I'm going to try to look for that. Here we go. Exploring. Uh, I, I, think, I think you do it. Let's just continue going as if you do it so we don't waste any time. So go to the um, card cam. So, uh, at the end, Jay uh, uh, destroys the uh, objective, gets 60 points. He needs 10 points to win this campaign, 10 more points, which is one secondary objective, which can be found in the core sections of the ship. Um, and I don't get any more reinforcements, so there's no more reinforcement rolls because all of my Tyranids have been deployed on the ship. And so now I can move Tyranids. Let's move Tyranids. So you've got these guys in the center. This squad is kind of weak. Okay. All right. I'm done moving. Now your turn, Jay. So mm -hmm. you're going to search or explore. Yeah. This was the duct. That uh, was the duct, yeah. You could, next exploration, you can start turning over cards from the thing here. So we go on passage. You have some space. No, but this it's not is a not scout. a scout. Yeah. So it stops there. So unfortunately, Angry Joe stops searching at a passage. Yeah. Now we have this depleted... Uh, yeah. This force right here. So these The Terminator scouts, Force. Yeah. Um, and they found a passage, which you get to skip that because scouts, you're scouts. Yeah. And a stranger. Yes. Oh, hey. Stranger. You've released stranger a Tyranid danger. captive from a pod. <laughs> Leave the card face up. Next phase, you will roll on the stranger's table to see you who you encountered. That's fun. Okay, and then this passage uh, goes here, and you found ambush. Uh, you've walked into a Tyranid ambush. Leave the card face up on top of the deck. Next phase, your recon squad has to fight the ambushers. Next phase, you may be able to bring on other squads in to support. You've walked in. Leave the card face up. Next phase. Next phase or next turn? Yeah, Kenny Chen, man. I, I, I've okay, played uh, Chainsaw Saw Warrior. It was very fun. Cool solo game. The recon squad only and all the blips from the ambush wow. box. Um, How many is in that? I don't. Well, I actually only have one blip in the ambush okay. box, but you only have what three, three guys? Three guys. Yeah. Okay. It's the heavy bolter and two two uh, regular donks. So I might be able to kill that space marine squad, and if I can kill that squad, then I might be in okay position. Okay. This is a smaller map with four. So we go, okay. Uh, okay. So we're going through these, all these battles in uh, the different map ports. We probably, if we were smart, probably break it up into different like streams or days actually <laughs> you know well that's what because they could have they long, yeah this this could have been you know over three or four days or whatever that we could have broken it up to but it seemed like some of these battles went uh, really quick that's why we continued on yeah Plus, i mean some people try to get it done in a night a ra we would have this is a raid 
we would have got a uh, normal, uh, what do you call it, skirmish, skirmish. done. Yeah, we would have done it. So, and that's what they recommend we start with. So, I guess because we're advanced players, you know. All right, I'm good. Um, oh, I have to put the, the one first one out. Start. Right? First one is five. And I, I have to put my guys in the middle of the board, right? Something like that. Oh, for an ambush? Um, I think it's a little bit Ahead different. of their defensive lines in the winding passages, Tyranid defenders set up ambushes. A small force conceals itself in the passages around the open chamber. When the Space Marines enter the chamber, the ambushers open fire and move in for the kill, attempting to annihilate the squad before the Space Marines can respond and set in reinforcements. Um, oh, objective not. marker, none. S initial Space Marine forces, the recon squad only. Yep. Uh, initial Tyranid forces, all blips from the ambush box. Special rules. For an ambush, the board is not set up using the normal procedure. Oh. Instead, set up the board as follows. Board section 2, board section entry, space marine point. Board section 1. The space marine recon sets up in the middle of the ambush on board section 2. Oh, you're caught in the middle. These guys, these guys might die. All right, you're in the middle. Okay. And then give me this. This one comes off. Okay. Is that five? That's five. Yeah. Four. Okay. Just like that. Two, two, two. And then this is section four, and it's like this. And then this is section three, and it's like this. Oh. Okay, and then one more, and it's section one, and it is like this. Okay, so set your Marines right here on board section two. There must be a gap of at least one square between each Space Marine model. That's Tyranid forces set up on sections three, four, and five. So not on one. The Space Marine squad must either wipe out the Tyranid ambush or withdraw. Space Marine models can only exit the board from the far side of board section one. So your objective is to run this way. That way. And so get out this way. All right. So as close to the middle as possible. At the start of each Space Marine turn, there's a chance of Space Marine's reinforcements arriving. Mm -hmm. You roll a d12. If you score a 12, <laughs> you can yeah. choose one squad from the Assault Forces box behind this uh, squad and bring it up. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. All right. So then I uh, uh, deploy my one. <gasps> <laughs> is that what I think it is? Is that your Chaos so, Space Marines? Yeah, it is they either that or the Orcs. Oh, okay. Who, who, what, who, who, ha, ha. Who, what, how, when, where? Mm-hmm. They're right here. Okay. Um, let's see who goes first. Uh, I go first yeah. in an ambush. Ambush, yeah. Okay, you're fucked. Because here comes the one, two... Three, you're right. <laughs> Which one? Chaos! Oh, shit. Not really chaos, but yeah. And you know, some chaos Marines coming? <laughs> Automatons. <laughs> and let me check to see if that's legal, because he moved yeah, here, and then I can do... They have to be touching it, yeah, around them, around them touching it. You're good. Uh, these scouts are so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. We have to let let you let, get some. Let some me licks get in. a revenge. Get yeah. some licks in. All right. This is gonna be bad right off the bat. So we're gonna go chaos. Space Marine has a bolter. It rolls. Oh wait a minute. Yes. You just walked in there. So can I react? Yeah, you can react. Yeah, right, you're gonna react. Okay, so um, just those two because this guy's turning around, turned around. Cool. So who wants to react first? This guy first. Okay, who's he gonna target? So he will target Maybe whoever's in front. Yeah. Okay. 
Or no, he's going to target your heavy weapon. Is there a heavy weapon there? No, you can't see the heavy weapon right now. You can grab one of these two guys. Okay. Sure. Uh, let's go with that guy. Okay. So the reaction is eight or less. Okay. You rolled a two. Twelve. No. Oh, 12. No. No reaction. Yeah, this, so this guy, guy can only see my heavy weapon. Cool. He rolled an eight. You got it? Yeah. Oh, shit. That heavy weapon might blow up my heavy weapon first. Yeah. So. Uh, let's see. You need a nine. Nine. So he doesn't have good armor. Let me get one more dice. It's, it's, um, snap fire is 2D plus two. Here we go. And 10, did it? 8 plus 2. Yep. 10. <laughs> Damn it. My missile launcher is dead. All right. Now you can kill me. <laughs> now you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to die. Okay, so um, aim fire plus 2 on 1D. Oh, these chaos uh, are not as dangerous as they are in current 40K. Yeah, they I can either choose close combat, which is 1D plus 3, but you're going to get a bunch of reaction yeah. shots. So uh, this guy to this, uh, I'm going to make sure that I'm in an advantageous facing. Okay, this guy to your heavy weapon guy. Seven. Seven plus one. No, Eight. seven plus two. Two. Nine. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Who yeah, is that? You, you only need um, seven. That was a uh, dumpster. Okay. And then that's quad this one. guy firing at this guy. Need a seven. Oh, three. Failed. Okay. Well, that sucks. Uh, my commander is blocked. So I'm going to have to move out with the commander and risk a reaction shot. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll do a reaction shot then. Let's just say he was here. Yeah. No. Okay, go ahead. Uh, one, eight or less. Eight, yep. And then uh, 1D, 1D plus one. For him, you need a, no, a nine. Nine, I got it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> This fucking bullshit. Damn, that was good. That was a big uh -oh. boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we already went with this guy. He could one. This guy missed. And then this guy can come. We can go one, two, reaction. Yeah, reaction. So eight or less. Got it. And oh, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I go. Can I go center to center there? No. All right. Go ahead. Uh, so the reaction got it. And then. Uh, what do you need? 1D plus one. You got a 11, 12. What the fuck? These are, who is this and who is this? Okay, so that oh, is. Yeah, oh, that's uh, Galliant in uh, game four. Get te Galliant Tempest yep. and game for fun. Yep. Games for fun. Jesus Android. Christ. David from Colorado, 121 hey. months. That's a really long time. You get a cool ass song. <laughs> nice. Samurai Queen. I think you're, you're still, still alive. alive, Samurai Queen, yeah. I think. Like I cannot yeah, believe this. The Chaos Warriors in this are incredibly disappointing. All right. Man. That's yeah. it. That's for my turn. My my turn. I thought that was gonna be that your was turn. My turn. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Um I get Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let me get my see if I can get two actions at the beginning. I do. Yeah. So that means uh, uh, I get to spurt out. Oh, there's no cysts. Yeah. Because it's an ambush. No Never spurting mind. for you, sir. Or there's two extra actions. But you still get two. I extra still get actions. extra actions. So <laughs> yeah. that these guys can fire some more. So let's uh, fire there and fire here. So it is a one d two. One D plus two. One D plus two. Yeah. Should have been firing with the commander first. He was a plus three. I fucked that up. One D plus two and firing at that guy. Seven. Eight nine. Yeah, got him. Oh, sorry, gallant. <laughs> and then this last one to this guy in the back, which I think there is a bonus to shooting somebody in the back. Let's just see what happens. You Seven and yeah. I got him. Boom. Oh, that, was a that was a gallant <laughs> effort. 
very gallant effort from the uh, Space Marines. But chaos thralls, mind slaves, rather, um, which they would probably not name mind slaves these days. It's sad how politically <laughs> correct everything is. It's, it's a, a it's mind a, slaves. It's like a mind flare now. That's yeah. what Larian did. All right. Well, no, I think that was always That's called always mind like flare from D&D. Yeah. Yeah. D &D. Yeah. 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 All right. So um, we so. go back to the exploration board. So that ended in a marine uh, failure. I completely crushed. That was the ambush. Yeah, C, yeah, Squad C, C yeah. is dead. Yeah. Okay. But you still have your tactical marines back here. Yeah, it's, it's your turn. Do you want to do any positioning? First, roll a D12 to oh, see yeah, if yeah. these guys escape from the sphincters. D12 plus three. Or, yeah, plus three because of the command. No, it's actually not a plus three. The the pluses come from the reserves. Did you roll a one? Did you roll no, an 11. eleven? Yeah. I tell you what, I will let you release these guys because before you roll for this, you reposition, and when you reposition, you just need to bring a squad here to add plus one. So let's say that you brought this and this, it would be plus two to the roll. I just need a plus one, so I just need. Okay, to which bring one it. do you want to bring? You want to bring yourself? No, bring Jay to come. Bring Patrick. The, yeah, Patrick in it. Hey. Patrick comes and he. Uh, you rolled an eleven, which yeah. is a miracle. And guess what? The fucking first Marine squad has been released from the sphincters. <laughs> yeah. We're out of the okay. sphincter. I cannot believe you rolled an eleven. You son of a bitch. He's been rolling good all night. He has, He's and you probably would have moved these guys up into the recon squad slot so that they can actually do stuff. Right, uh, but they can't go there because they're not a recon squad. Right? No, that doesn't the, work. Really? That, anybody can recon. Not, anybody can recon. But, but scouts get that additional okay, passage. Okay. All right, yeah. Right, yeah. All right. So uh, going through here, let's see if you get a secondary objective. Yeah. No. Primary. Oh. Wow. Okay. You don't have to go in. Yeah. If you want an easier mission, you can stay out. Do you want to go into the mission, or do you want to try these other ones? First, you can roll on the stranger chart. Here, you could potentially get... There's only two more here, so these could be secondary objectives. Yeah. Let's do the secondary. Okay, he's going to hold yeah. here. We're going to do the stranger. stranger. So, stranger, roll a d12. All right. When a stranger is encountered... Six. A player receives one victory point for every stranger. If the stranger is killed, he loses the victory point. When a stranger is encountered, the Space Marine player has to roll twice to find out exactly who the stranger is. Let me get an angry joke here. AJ Cam. So All right, a, first a roll six? was a six. You found an Imperial. It was either a squat, an Eldar, an Imperial Guardsman, an Ogryn, a Space Marine, or an Inquisitor. You rolled a six, which is an Imperial Guardsman. Yeah. The Guardsman was stationed in one of the Rim Worlds, those planets furthest from the Imperial Corps, among the first to be invaded by High Fleet Kraken. He wears flak armor and carries a las gun. Subtract one from the second dice roll. Uh, Did you roll yeah. a second time? So eight minus one. As soon as the stranger takes a shot or makes a close combat attack, roll again on the following table. That's in the future. Okay. Uh... One from the oh well that happened so no he you just have him okay. so get give me a uh, one guardsman there one guardsman <laughs> all right cool so you found a stranger and apparently so he can do some cool stuff larva swarms can burst out of him. <laughs> He can recognize parts of the ship and get you where you want to quicker. He can be a psyker. Oh, Lots wow. of cool stuff, but you have to do something with them to get on that second chart. As soon as your stranger takes a shot or makes a close combat attack, roll again. So he joins this squad here. And um, so we're moving on to the next one. Uh, secondary objective. All right, we can complete the game. It's either win or lose. Hive mind synapse. So... The hive mind synapse falls into your hands. You'll weaken the Tyranid ship ability to respond to your assault. So you only have your 
E here. Yep. So the secondaries are, are done just like the primaries? Or is it just the card? No, I, I don't know. I have to look. Yeah. I would imagine so. So teleporter, secondary, primary, primary, secondary. Hive mind snaps. Uh, one through six, yeah, it's done ex exactly like Kay. it. Uh, it's on all squads from the phone, any blips from the first wave box. Two cysts. Close to the hive mind synapse, the, the Tyranid hive mind operates at its greatest efficiency. When fighting a battle for this objective, the Tyranid player adds plus two to his rolls for extra actions. That's that's on my weak side. I only have one blip on that side. Mm. Well, I only have three dudes in there, so I don't mind. Meaning you could lose that one and then... But, but let's let's call it let's call it here. Let's yeah. go to the uh two caster. Okay, so Jay, uh in this campaign we almost finished the campaign in yeah. a single session, yeah. which yeah. is cool. And they said it was because now that we know yeah. the game, we could probably finish a, a campaign in a single session. Or it could be extended. It, it, Jay did get lucky at the I beginning did. by finding it, two ducks right away. Right, right away. And it could it could get extended it could get longer. longer. Yeah. So a it's probably longer. a game that you're gonna play over Two, maybe three nights. Let's call it two or three nights. Yeah, I'd say more three. I'd say more two. It depends on yeah, how long depends. you're going to yeah. play. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, now, was there a possibility? How close was Jay to winning? Well, he would need to do this mission. He'd probably lose this one, then yeah. bring his flanks over from the left and the center right. into the uh, right flank, go on that secondary mission again, and tr try to win that way. Because he was way. so close. Yeah. So yeah. But actually, I think if you fail a mission, that secondary is discarded, and then here's another one, and that is a secondary. Yeah. It would have been another secondary. Yeah. And then and then you could have won like that. Yeah. But I'm curious, is there a way I can win sooner than killing every single Marine? So you're yeah, collecting that's, that's, points. That's, that's, yeah, that's So that's let me question. check to see real quick if I... Checking for victory... Yeah, my my force is pretty deplete, depleted, but they're pretty strong too. Those terminators are no joke. As a Tyranid player, you don't earn victory points. You win by wiping out the Space Marines uh, before they can cripple your hive ship. So basically, that's an uphill battle. Yeah, if at the end of a battle all Space Marines in the entire force are dead and the Space Marine player hasn't earned enough victory points, then the game is a victory for the Tyranid player. So basically, if you, you exhausted yourself yeah. and there's nothing you can do, I don't like that because y that means you have to like play out even battles that you know you're going to lose yeah. and, and hopeless well, ones where there's like three guys left going in. And, and on your point there uh, about running away, you would have probably done that a little bit more. Running away to try to save, save for, your troops. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one gene stealer that did run away, I would have got that token back, right. even right. though he lost one of the two gene stealers. I right. got the token back, could have put it on that left flank or, um, yeah. Yeah, so wherever. That, yeah. Okay. Stuff around too. So. But that's it. So uh, it ends in uh, kind of, let's just call it a draw for, for right now. Mm -hmm. And Jay, tell us, what did you think of uh, this? Advanced Space Crusade, a 34-year-old game. Yeah. Um, well, before that, we have to kind of pick a winner unless we're going um, to. And, and it well, doesn't even really matter. Why do matter we have to, to pick me. a winner? Because er, everybody bet on it unless you just refund everybody. Oh, there they, did people bet? We, yeah. we did do predictions. predictions. Okay. Huh. Mm. Well, let's see. Jay has four Terminators, right? Yeah. He's got... B squad has what? B squad had three mm -hmm. um, scouts. Yeah, F squad had oh, A squad has a full, full squad. Scout. Yeah, full set. No, set of scouts. Th this seems really hard for the Tyranid player. Plus, actually. I have. You think the Terminators were tough? The command group is tough. Yeah, that they chapter. are freak. The captain and the the librarian and stuff. Those yeah. guys are are ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a J victory. Uh, so and actually the um the poll was for the first battle whether Jay was gonna win. Not uh, for all of the, the battles. Thing. Yeah, the whole campaign. Which so we really did win the yeah. first. 
So go ahead and do the do the victory thing. How do you do it? All right, I think I could do it here, right? Yeah. We do slash prediction. Oh, you gotta get a slash in there. Mm. I don't know which slash. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Well, shit, we should have awarded out these points a while ago. So choose outcome. J Space Marines win. Complete prediction. Are you sure? Yes. Boom. Hey. Prediction hey. result is J Space Marines win. Nice. Okay, easy money. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so back to Jay, you. what do you think of this uh, 34-year-old game, Advanced Space Crusade? I l I like it, but I like it to a point like it, you could tell it's an old game. You yeah, could tell, you could tell it's, it's a three-decade old. You game. could tell it's more very, than three uh, decades. Very uh, wants you to be super engaged and have a super long campaign. We rushed through this really fast. And so, um, I, I mean, I liked it. it I, I, I give it more for the flavor, give it a higher score for the flavor and for the, you know, the IP and stuff. But Yeah, the idea <sighs> of being in an alien ship yeah. was so cool. Yeah. That's yeah. way cooler than Space Hulk just being in a Hulk, you know. Yeah. So what I take away from this is I liked it. But like you, the game mechanics are so old and, you know, laborious where yeah. you're just doing a lot of uh, die rolling, RNG for certain things to happen. But it was still a lot of fun. It was. It was um, you know, if, if one of your buddies has this on his shelf, you know, or you know or you can get it super cheap, then I'd say, yeah, I, I actually would play it. Yeah, I think I'd, it's I'd, fun. I'd play it again. Yeah. But what I really want is I want Games Workshop, if they've done, what, four editions of Space Hulk now. Yeah. I think they need to go and do an advanced Space Crusade again, a remake where you, or at least Space Hulk expansion where you go into a Tyranid ship yeah, yeah. and you have all that with yeah. the better, faster rules of the benefit of a you know fifth edition Space Hulk. Right, right. I, that I, I would agree. be really cool. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be, be something to see. So I really um, liked it. Yeah, and I and like I said, I this is one of those games that you know you 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 d dust it off every every six months a year, mm -hmm. play it once, and then throw it back up on the shelf. I like the you idea know. that you name every single you oh, know yeah, yeah, yeah. guy on your roster, yeah. and then you're going through four or three different flanks, and the fact that you have all your squads you know in slots really does feel like the computer game uh, Chaos Gate where you would have the different squads and you send out a squad on a mission and those guys can die and you're like, fuck, I need to reinforce and right. replace those guys. So right. it has that great overall feel. I really like Advanced Space Crusade. Um, but yeah, 34-year-old, I would love to see a, a re-update of it. But uh, yeah, refresh. Blast nice from the refresh. Past, I can see why people really enjoyed this one. They called this one like... This is some people's favorite. Yeah. So the Space Crusade came out, and that they made for Milton Bradley, right. so it's watered down. It right. goes really fast. It's for children. This one is for the you know the the grit. They wanted more grit right. and and uh, um, role play, and that definitely does show up here. So. Yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for this one. And uh, stay tuned next week because we will be fast-forwarding uh, some yeah. 30 years and playing Space Hulk, the latest edition of Space Hulk, so we can see how they evolved the dudes entering a ship system. Right. Uh, so thank you guys so yeah. much for watching this week, and we'll see you back here on Sunday for another episode of AJ's Table Time. We want to thank... Uh, uh, one huge, huge uh, guy here. Uh, um, Patrick, if you can give me a zoom in on a cam. Yes. Den of imagination for making quite possibly one of the coolest things anybody has ever made for us is a Angry Joe Dice Tower Dice Tower bust of this. Now remember, if you and and these guys can 3D print anything. If you send them a photo of your face, then they can actually make you a model like this and you can you know a little one for your army
Or you can get a big one like this and do a dice tower, right? Because here you put the dice in the back. <laughs> that is just so awesome. So huge, huge thanks to Den of Imagination for that awesome uh, dice tower. Uh, it is definitely going to be displayed in the background here at the studio. And thank you, guys. See you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yo. Bye.